clever one. I'm Vichy. Today we're playing some more Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. And yesterday's stream felt like a fever dream. Look at this save that I have. <laughs> this is the first thing I saw when I opened this game. <laughs> it's this picture of Ichiban walking into his room that has 20 squat toilets, <laughs> a bed, a table, and a Yaksa finger cutting set. <laughs> well, that's how today's stream was gonna go. Um, we got into chapter six uh <laughs> yesterday and we'll be doing more fun in the sun on don doku island today anyway here's ichiban and his 20 squat toilets that is the stream today what is this i thought you were here when this happened i don't know who was or wasn't here <laughs> honestly i just uh I, I blacked out, and I don't remember what happened until yet the stream. Uh, yes, I didn't do anything. I'm just trying to pause the game real quick. Okay, here we go. Now I can catch up with chat. Welcome in, everybody. Welcome in, Wolf, who was first in the Epic Fish of the Day. Uh, time for some Crossing Dragons Infinite Bells. We're doing Animal Crossing Yakuza style tonight. <laughs> hey, Zoe, welcome in. Welcome in, Ruben. Welcome in, Alfred and PC Man. You're thinking about the sound effect right now, aren't you? That's true. You you got me. I thought about it. I had to read the message. I had to read out the word. Oh. What is this? I gotta go. To the bathroom? Don't worry. There's plenty of choices. <laughs> oh, hey, Amelia. Welcome in. I'm surprised you got to the island. I figured you'd be hanging out with Robo Michio for a while. Also on the island in New Game Plus. Ooh, nice. Uh, yeah, I just, I feel like I haven't been doing a ton of plot lately, and I just wanted to get to a point where I unlocked a lot of stuff. I knew that the island was probably coming up, and the same thing happened with jobs. I knew that the jobs were coming up, so I've just been kind of been on a, a plot, uh, I don't know what to call it. I, I've been really wanting to do plot lately, but now that we've gotten to the island, and now that we've gotten jobs... Plot will <laughs> be a little bit off the wayside, just for a little. Um, I don't know if we're going to be doing Don Doko all day today. I honestly don't know what I'm going to feel like doing. I would probably be up for doing Don Doko all day, but uh, we're definitely going to get to a point where we can travel back and forth. I would, I would like to unlock uh, one of the jobs and we have to go to the vocational school to do that. So maybe we'll do that later in the stream. Um, just to kind of take a break from the island. I don't know. We're just gonna have some fun in Infinite Wealth. That's all I know. That's all I want to do. Like a toilet, infinite male living spaces. <laughs> I may have fallen asleep at the end when we got to the island. No worries. Yeah, the, the island got a little wild. Uh, we did almost like a six hour stream yesterday. I, I just didn't want to stop playing the game. I just... It was very, very good. I was having a great time. But, you know, you gotta sleep at some point. Just like Ichiban here. It's time to go to sleep. Oh yeah, I don't go to my bed, surrounded by my 20 squat toilets. I go to the calendar. So obviously we're gonna be doing a little bit of plot because plot is being on the island right now. <laughs> like, I don't have a choice, I can't leave yet. Uh, so we'll get to a point where we can travel and then see what I wanna do. Oh, this this statue is literally in oh. Animal Crossing too. <laughs> We're just starting right off with Muku. <laughs> I closed my eyes while sitting in my chair and was gone. No, I understand. I get it. No worries. I fall asleep watching my own stream sometimes, and I watch it after the stream to see all the funny parts. I still fall. Asleep. That's also because it's like 3 a.m. If you gotta go, Itchy has like 20 spots to choose from. Exactly! You've got plenty of choices. In the Tanuki. Hey, hey, hey. Oh. Someone's in a good mood. What's up, Muku? Oh? What you got there? This is up. This here is a Tanuki statue I bought with my secret stash of money, you see. I thought it would boost overall satisfaction if I decorated the island with it. Just trying to help out, you know? <laughs> so, what do you think? Isn't it stunning? 
Doesn't it feel real in your face right here in the middle of the plaza? I don't know if you can really beat the toilet in the middle of the grass with the capsule toy machine in front of it and the knife set next to it. I don't know. It's kind of hard to beat that. I think I did pretty good. Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? Even though it's kind of in the way. Good morning, everyone! Let's get this morning assembly started. Let's keep aiming for our first star by doing DIY projects, placing them around, and improving the island's satisfaction today. Good morning, everyone. Let's work hard today. Okay. So yeah, we we I think we get to leave the island the next day, like tomorrow. Uh, let's see. Anything different? I mean, I'm not really paying too much attention to this yet. Like, oh, I gotta get this many more points to get this. Like, I'm kind of just going with the flow right now. Since the knife set is next to the toilet, are you trying to insinuate cutting something else? I mean, that's up to your Yakuza boss. I don't make those rules, you know. If you mess up that bad, I mean, I, I don't know how the Yakuza works. You know, I did think about that yesterday when it was right next to the toilet. I was like, oh no. <laughs> Just the dead silence. Okie dokie. Don, don't go a go. Now what? Guys, there's trouble. What's wrong, Genzo san? The wash bucklers, that's what. Nanda. Huh? Aren't they. A crappy waste disposal company that keeps harassing us? Oi. A crappy waste disposal company, you say? Just tear out my heart, why don't you? It's back. Red Pirate Hook. Why are you here? Looking for another fight? I'll take you on anytime. Oh, no, no. Afraid I ain't the type to get my own hands dirty, you see. I'll have to pass today. I'm just here to declare war. You're doing what? You heard me. This here rocks our dump. And you lot are putting in too much effort to restore it the way it once was. That's getting to be a pain in our ass. Because if this island's cleared up, where on earth are we going to dispose of our waste then? This was never your personal landfill in the first place. Don Doko Island is a special place we hold dear to our hearts. I won't let you have your way with it. <laughs> ah, all right, all right. Don't get your knickers in a twist. But I gotta say, it's much cleaner than the last time I was here. Why, you even put out fancy little things like this. Oh no. Don't hurt him! Don't hurt him! Leave him alone! Keep up the hard work. Maybe this trash heap really will be restored to its former resort glory. But, not while I'm around. No! No! What did he do to you? Oh, my Tanuki statue! You bastard! What the hell was that for? Weren't you listening, mate? I said this whole rock is our landfill. And if you want to get rid of our trash heap, then we'll just have to get rid of you. Your five-star dream resort is damn near impossible, and you do well to remember that. <laughs> Keep your eyes peeled, Don Bozos. I'll be sending in my men in droves. Have fun. They're not the type to play nice. How about you? Until then. Hope you lot come around. We just witnessed a murder. Look, he's so sad! Oh, so no. My Tanuki! It's okay, Muku. Feels like nothing's changed at all. Even back when the island was bustling, they still came here to dump their garbage and destroy the logics. No matter how much effort we put in, it's all moot when they've got us in check. And now they're back at it again. But I won't stand for this any longer. This is our island. I can't let them step all over me just because I'm afraid of getting hurt. Enough is enough. I'm with you there. We can't keep letting them get away with this. If they're gonna keep shipping their men our way, we'll just have to send them packing. That's all there is to it. And how are we gonna do that? Let's just say there's that's more my area of expertise than DIY. Anyway. Leave it to me. I'll take care of them for you. If you see them anywhere on the island, give me a shout, all right? All right. Really, I'm sorry for dragging you into this whole mess, Kaskasan. 
We'll do all we can to contribute so we don't run Cusco san ragged. Oh. Thanks. Alrighty, everyone. Don Doko a go go. I. I did okay, statue. <laughs> That's all he cares about. <laughs> Okay, beware. Pirate attacks. The washbucklers will now attack Don Doko Island. While you battle them, some functions will become unusable, such as edit mode. Once you drive them away with your trusty bat, the washbucklers will drop Doko Bucks in their wake, so it's best to deal with them on the double. Welcome in, DNC. Yeah, I get here just to see Muku's poor Tanuki murdered. I know! We just need some super glue. It'll be okay. Alright, let's make something out of today. Oh, Kaskasan, have you heard? Dolphin? Dolphin? Dolphin's back! Oh? Uh, who's Dolphin? Oh, hmm. It'd be easier to show you than have- than to have me explain. Please follow me to the beach. I might know what this is. Miss Dolphin? Are you Dolphin? <gasps> yes! Oh, damn! An actual dolphin? This sweet lady's dolphin? That's right. Lately, she's been traveling the seas. But now that she's finally home, you can take her for a ride back to Hawaii. Oh, wait. Did you just say I have to ride a dolphin? What's wrong with a boat? Dolphin is much faster than your average boat. You're a busy man, Kaskasan, so I highly recommend catching a ride on her over some dingy vessel. Okay, gotcha. You can always find Dolphin here at Don Doko Beach, so whenever you want to go back to Hawaii, you just call for her. <laughs> Got it. Pleasure to meet you, Dolphin. You now return to Hawaii. Talk to Dolphin when you want to go home. I mean, I don't want to leave, but I do want to see him uh, getting, getting back to Hawaii on a dolphin. Yeah, I, I kind of just want to go back and forth. I don't know if the story will progress, but that's fine. We can do a little bit of plot to, to see the dolphin. I mean, I need to see it! Hold on. New bug. Oh, ma. See, this island is... Like, distraction central. Like, I want to go pick up every single thing inside. Oh! A swine statue fountain. A little pig. I love she- I, I need to see it. We gotta do it, just so I can see it. He has a big grudge with Tom Nook! Time to DIY some cannons. Yeah, we gotta DIY weapons now. Maybe if you hit the pirates with your net enough, they'll get angry and leave. <laughs> I should try that. I guess we're going home! Okay, let's go to Hawaii, just for a second. Maybe I should head back to Hawaii. Oh, I can convert Doko Bucks. <gasps> Ah, into real money, huh? So... So it's like yen, okay. So, interesting. A thousand doko bucks is like a thousand yen, which is like ten dollars. Oh, wow. So this is how we make the money, huh? This is how we do it. Onward, Dolphin, to Hawaii. The anticipation is killing me. <laughs> Please! Oh! It's Eva. Oh! So we don't get any special. Okay. I think maybe you get like a little animation when you go back to the island? Maybe? Oh, there you are, Ichiban! I finally wrapped up that video. Now let's see how much plot I have to do to get back to the island. Hey, alright. Thanks for doing that, Chichan. <laughs> well worth the effort if you ask me. Wanna check it out over at Revolve? Ooh. Of course I do. Let's go. Okay, perfect. So the next plot point is gonna be at Revolve, so we can kinda do whatever we want until I'm ready to go back. Can we find Dolphin at the beach? Oh, so she's right here. Oh, there's a little spot here. Sorry, kitty. 
Sorry, Kiddyu. The only bad thing about Don Doko Island is I don't get to look at Kiddyu all stream. So I, I gotta take him in now. Gotta take it all in. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Yep. That's a kitty wall right. Okay. Yes, kitty, yes. <laughs> Whatever you say. Alright, Dolphine, to Don Doko Island. Oh my god. Oh! <laughs> Oh my god! That was so cute! Aww. Oh! That was so cute! Is this something I can catch? <laughs> He was petting her. A little yosh yosh yosh. Oh my god. I loved it. Oh, I I can get it. RGG really popped off with this one. Like truly. Whoa. Got a golden spider. Apparently I can catch gnats, yes. Well let's get some fish over here. So anyway, here's the rest of the stream. <laughs> it's gonna be Animal Crossing all night. I have not played Animal Crossing in so long. And especially I haven't streamed it in forever. I just stopped playing it, you know? It, it became one of those things where like, I would open up the game every day when I like first woke up and do all like my little daily chores I do in Animal Crossing, and then that was it, you know. So yes. it just kind of became ooh, got yeah, tuna. It became like a chore to play it, which is my own fault. But it was very fun when I was like in the thick of it, and uh, it had first come out and everything. But you know, they also stopped like doing new stuff for the game, and I feel like a lot of people were upset about that. So a lot of people stopped playing because there was just nothing else. To do like they weren't doing any like new furniture or events or anything so people just kind of stopped caring about it although it was a great game but it was very very fun hey tara welcome in it's bon being a disney princess out here with all these animals i know but i i love it so much i live for it well yeah a mushroom uh baby bella animal crossing new horizons don't know her I've been playing B, C, and T, Dragon Crossing New Toilets. Ah. <laughs> I was like, what does that stand for? We got a chair. Oh, yeah, I didn't even know I was doing stuff. Um, let me see. It wants me to chop down trees, sell an item, and DIY. I can do that. Three trees. Dragon Crossing New Toilet. Precisely. I'm thinking of flattening my island and redoing it, but that's so much work. It's so much work. I I even thought about doing that, and I was like, no. And, uh, I feel like it'd be one of those things where you start it, and then halfway through you get tired, and then you just have a half-done island, which would be even worse. Nintendo's still tr struggling to figure out how to support mega hits in 2024. It's kind of wild. Right? I don't know. Like, I grew up playing Nintendo, so I love Nintendo games. And even, like, the newer ones that come out, I will usually want to play them. But just, like, as a company, I'm not always happy with what they do. And I feel like they kind of drop the ball pretty often. But, you know, I love Pokemon games, I love Animal Crossing, I like Mario games, although I haven't played the recent ones. I want to, it's just there's too many games right now. They even have uh, the Mario RPG game that I've never played before but was th thinking about it. 
Oh my god. Oh, there's more fish in here too. If I have to fish from over there. Okay, so now I need to sell an item and uh, craft. Oh yes, here is my uh, my furnishings here. We've got the squat toilet. Everyone needs a squat toilet. The the knife set and uh, capsules, capsule toys. That's all you need. So those are the um, the basics of life. What's this one? A sushi restaurant sign. And then this beautiful vase again that I can't afford. A change machine. I feel like that would make sense to have here. Okay, I need to sell you something. Purchase. Okay. Mollusks. We decorate our house. Oh, it's a light. I was like, what is this? Okay, so... Now, what do I sell to him? I have three of these. I mean, he just wants me to sell anything. I could sell him, like, one of these. I'll just sell you one of them. There we go. And then craft something. So I think the first thing I should do is probably clear out this area and build more stuff. I'm excited to get to the buildings. Right now we just have a bunch of furniture. Okay, speaking of furniture, what should I make next? Now we have two plants. I'll make my house look pretty eventually, but right now it's just a joke. The joke of a home. Sleazy? Wait, there's like genres, yeah. This is pop, elegant, sleazy. <laughs> we gotta make this one. <sighs> Any of y'all got a Dondo order for the Dondo capsule machine? <laughs> there, I did all my dailies. Now let's place it. You need somewhere to sleep when you're done using the toilet, you know? Just, uh, right there. Yep. <laughs> this looks so bad. This is horrible. This, this is something that makes you go, you live like this? Mm-mm. Oh, I keep seeing the Majima and Kiddu posters in your background and keep thinking they're a DIY item in the game because of how they are over the menu. Oh my, yeah, my, uh, my posters. My dream daddy Kiddu and my just normal but beautiful Majima. <laughs> I think about that sometimes, how they're just like always in the background. I also have a Dio over here. I think there's more like Yakuza stuff here. My Majora mask right here. All my interests, all my loves. I'm still upset that New Horizons was one of the most successful games ever, and they just left it to dust after like one or two updates. Yeah, and I I really liked when they did the update for like diving and stuff and swimming, but it happened so late that by then I could I had already fallen out of the game, so it really only brought me back for a little bit, and then I was done with it again. And then there was the Happy Home DLC, which was very fun. But yeah, I got tired of that too at some point. I'm also really bad at playing games long term. Like I, I was playing a lot of Palia and now I'm starting to like kind of fall out of it. Like I could very well jump back in and play it whenever, but um, I don't know. I just get like that with any game. I always have like a Minecraft phase and then I'll do, um, you know, like I had a Palia phase, stuff like that. Stardew phase. I'll kind of like cycle through all of them. What I like about this is you can place stuff and furniture like inside your house in New Horizons so you don't have to place them by hand. Yeah, that's really nice. You can just get them from the menu. I played New Leaf for years and New Horizons I only played for maybe two years after release. Yeah, it just didn't have a lot of longevity compared to New Leaf at least. And then Wild World I also feel like I played forever. 
At least the bed is waterproof. Oh god. Pokemon Fox. <laughs> the daily routine. Wake up, go to the toilet, get a gacha capsule, go to sleep. <laughs> That's it! Oh, and then, yeah, we're playing Zelda right now. So that, that's the game we're playing. That's what we're putting all of our time into. I guess let's fight these guys? How do I... Okay, I'm currently in battle all of a sudden. Okay. So you just walk up to them and you start fighting. Interesting. And then, so one hit takes off, like, half a heart. Okay. What I need to do is save up to upgrade my tools. Or behind me somewhere. They're just walking in like they own the place. I'm trying to clean up garbage. Thank you very much. <laughs> Hello, pick your toilet. We have 20. <laughs> Technically 21, but 20 of them are indoors, and this one is the outdoor. Um, and you know, it's like uh, our tourist attraction here on the island. <laughs> There's no walls or privacy, but it's just kind of part of the charm. <laughs> I think that's all the trash. Ooh, we're getting money from them too. There's more guys over here. I want to fight them just to get their money now. I gotta be careful with my health, though. <laughs> oh, oh, can't get me around all the trash! <laughs> now he's one with the trash pile, and his body will never be found. Oh yeah, so this area is the Great Tree. More trash for the trash god. A trash sacrifice. Now Stardew's calling to me. I know, yeah, with the new update. They added a lot of new stuff with Stardew. I know some people like to be surprised. I don't know how much to say about it, you know? Like, I've never thought of Stardew having, like, spoilers, but I did see some people saying, Oh, you know, I want to be surprised. Um, about the update and stuff. I was like, oh. I guess some people see that as, like, a spoiler. Um, I think, oh, one more. So, our goal right now is to get to a one star. Can't do the... I want all the furniture. Okay, so I think we could clear out the entrance and the great tree at this point. Gotta talk to the guy. <laughs> Might as well just use the ocean. No! Okay, I think I talked to you. No? Uh, I, I think I do it at the map. Is that what I'm remembering? Or at the signs? Maybe it's the signs. Oh yeah, clear out. Okay, I got it. Oh, almost have enough. Gonna need the Doko Bucks and building talent. Level 10. Oh, shoot. Okay, what about this one? I just need to get to level 5. Okay. Let's build some stuff. And then apparently you can upgrade your house? Like, oh. I am very excited. Um, let's make some actual nice stuff for my room. How about that? <laughs> let's start making it look like a home that has 20 squat toilets, but is still a home, you know? Let's do one of those. Oh, the sto uh, Stardew developer has spoiler-free and spoiler-filled patch notes for the update. That's nice. Now, I guess cheaper as you clear out trash by the E and D rating is- okay. I feel like I'm probably just gonna clear it out anyway and get all the material and that way I can save money. Home is where the 20 squat toilets are. So true. 
Yeah, we can put a bike inside the house. I'm not even thinking about the crafting because I have so much DLC stuff that, like, I could make anything I want, really. I could make anything. Uh, we got a public bathroom DIY. Basket. Uh, street lamp. Shelf with vase. Hold on. A toilet. Another toilet. Is it like a whole building? <laughs> Bathroom update! <laughs> Do you want spoiler or spoiler free? <laughs> Bathroom update! It's a building! I thought so. We got a market stall, a green shack, a bath chair, a bus stop, dilapidated clothing store, Modular construction helmet! What? A bench? A street lamp? Take out sushi! A cow sign? Outdoor fire hydrant. It's just literally all of the... <laughs> this is the same vending machine that's all in all the games. Oh my god, all the assets. The red vending machine. Oh my god, we gotta make the hat. Let's make three. <laughs> Hey friend, welcome in. Yeah, Ichiban is making full-blown buildings. Just make Kamurocho on the island, I know, right? Oh my god. Okay, we need to get to level 10 anyway, so let's keep building stuff. Um, I want a bookshelf in my house. Let's do it. And what else do I want in my house? Well, we gotta put out a vending machine somewhere. Let's make, uh, two. <laughs> oh! <laughs> we got a table. Oh, a nice armchair. It's a, uh, cream armchair. A no parking sign. A money plant. Oh, okay. We didn't have enough room. Well, just for y'all, I will have to make the cream armchair. <laughs> now that that's a thing. Oh, it's a nice chair! It's a nice chair. Let's make this thing. <laughs> Oh! It's time for terrible sentences in my chat. Thank you for the cream, please stop. Please? Oh. Uh, what else do I want to make? Maybe like a little table? Make a little table. I want to make all the plants for sure. <laughs> It's always time for terrible senses in your chat. <sighs> and to think any different would be a fool's errand, right? I need the sushi. I gotta have that. That helmet is an object in Tomodachi, so I've been giving them to people and turning them into Majiba construction workers. Oh my god. <gasps> a coffee truck? A pool table? A connecting water pipe? A shelf with a katana! I'm getting so many things. I think I know that shelf with a katana. Like, there's literally things in here. I'm like, wait a second. I remember that from that one room in that one Yakuza game. Oh my god. Doko Bucks up. Well, we're gonna have to have a pool table. <laughs> Oh, we can make the cow. Oh, I leveled up. A worn out office complex. An entire building! A flammable oil drum. That sounds good. The kitchen counter. <gasps> Desktop PC setup. Ichiban can be a streamer. Hold on, we gotta make him a streamer. I remember uh, in New Horizons, we made uh, stream rooms too. Those were fun. Also, welcome in Arkham. <laughs> I mean, it's in, like, all the games. Yes. I swear. What else did I want? Oh, the cow. 
Mm -hmm. I love one of the oil drums at my island resort. I mean, like, if I travel to a... Why is it so large? I thought it was going to be tiny. Made mannequin. A fountain. A white scooter. A telephone box. I want to make everything. Well, we got to make that. Sleazy. Popularity up. <laughs> oh, a maid cafe. Oh my god. Oh, we got to level 10. Okay. So I can do... Oh, what time is it? Okay. I think I can do this now. Unless we save it for tomorrow. Well, let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, I should have saved it. Now it's going to be, like, dark outside. Phew. Well, I think that's everything. Incredible! You've done a wonderful job clearing the area. Now we'll be able to install things here, too. Arigato. Thank you so much, Kaska-san. And you too, Kenzo-san. Mm -hmm. Now that we've got a pretty big space to work with, we can even place larger items we couldn't before. Yep. Could even construct a small building here if you wanted. If the adjacent areas are cleared as well, then that'll open even more possibilities. Once the soil is cleared, the amount of trash that accumulates will decrease, so you'll spend less time picking up trash. It should make daily life a little easier. <sighs> won't that reduce the resources we get, though? I don't want there to be less things to make. It'll be fine. You can grab any resources gathered from the cleared area at the collection point next to Matayoshiya. Oh. There should be the same amount of resources as you would have collected yourself before the land was cleared, if not more. Convenient, right? Worth checking every day. A uh, daily resource collection. You can retrieve resources from the collection point next to Matayoshiya. The amount of resources you can obtain will increase as you clear out areas. They can be they can only be collected once a day, so don't forget to swing by. Yeah, that does sound pretty handy. The collection point around will be a one-star resort in no time. We're already so close! Let's keep up the hard work! Don Doko a go go! Okay, good night everybody. Now we gotta clear out the great tree. Okay. Oh, there was even suggestion stuff I didn't even see. Oops. Go to bed. After I decorate my home. Let's see. Uh, oh, it's in storage. It's in storage. Well, let me see if I can... Yeah, let's get this all put away. Oh my god, okay. Here we go. Huh? Oh, here we go. <laughs> Gotta put the cream chair. <laughs> right here. <laughs> and the maid will uh, watch Ichiban sleep. And, uh, of course we gotta have the katana in the back. And a pool table! Ah, uh, there's no room. Darn. All of my toilets are in the way. How could I let this happen? Oh, darn. So many toilets. But, oh, oh, never mind, we got room. Okay, perfect. Now... I don't think there's room for this one. <laughs> Why is it so large? You know, it's funny. I think it would fit. Height-wise? I think it would fit. Wait. <laughs> Push all the toilets into a corner like a puppy pad. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to be moving the toilets because uh, they need to be where they are so each one doesn't have an accident. Uh, but I do want to see... Yep. Hold on. It needs to be facing the proper way. Or it's just not going to make sense, right? Here we go. Yeah. All better. That belongs there. Okay. 
We're gonna get more hearts from this. Amazing. I wasn't quite done though. <sighs> Here we go. Tana. Gotta have our sushi. This is dinner. It's kind of hanging over the edge, but that's okay. And, uh, you know, something to liven up the place a little bit. Um, yeah, we're just gonna put them all here. Now, Ichiban, I don't want you to feel like, um, I, I know, th I know that you're used to just kind of like getting up in the middle of the night and going to the bathroom and not looking because you kind of have a lot of options here. But please be careful in this particular corner. Please be careful over here. Okay. Okay. Um, well, apparently this can float in the air, so we're gonna do that. And then uh, we need a bookshelf. Everyone needs a bookshelf. And a bicycle. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, was that letting me put it on the top of the bookshelf? There we go. Now, this is the ideal male living space. This looks like a home. This this is a home. Better fence the corner off with 14 Majima helmets just in case. That's a good idea. That way, uh, if he walks in that direction, he'll stub his toe and he won't he won't get too close to the plants. <laughs> the manga shelf, so everyone can pick out something to read while using the squat toilets. <laughs> I've basically just turned his house, his whole house, into like a glorified restroom. Like, that's it. It's just, it's like a communal restroom with no walls. <laughs> just things to pass the time while you're waiting in line. Oh my god. <laughs> you live like this? Yeah, exactly. This is, uh... That's what he is. The cow watches all uh, over all 20 squatty potties, yes. <laughs> this is very menacing with the chair like facing the door with the knife and the hat. And then this is the snack right here. We can go to bed now. No wonder Psycho ghosted him. Oh! <laughs> Just like, yeah, I'm not living with this. Good morning! Time to ready up for our morning assembly. Let's see. Where do I see the suggestion box? We can't do guests yet. Arm. This is just the map. <laughs> oh, if you have an exclusive Matayoshi a chicken coop, you can collect eggs in front of Matayoshi the following morning. <gasps> I need the chicken coop. Absolutely, I need it. Come on, let's get to work. <laughs> Archaeologists a thousand years from now. This room was clearly used for ritual ceremonies. <laughs> Look at this empty plot! Oh, this won't do. Absolutely not. We gotta have this right in the middle, or no one's gonna see it. Now they just need to give me the ability to move multiple things at once. That would be great. Yeah, let me, uh, the suggestion box might be in the menu. I just forgot to look. I had to rectify this issue immediately, so. Yeah, the, the squat toilet's right in front of the capsule machine so that you can do something while you go to the bathroom. There, perfect. This island is perfect. Okay, yeah, here's the suggestion box. Oh, there's a lot. Oh, and you get money for them, okay. Get rid of trees, rocks, junk. 40 furnishings at the lighthouse. I don't even think we've gotten to the lighthouse yet. 
do these change over time or can I just work towards these? I was thinking the suggestion box was like a daily thing. Rebuildings. I think it's over time. Every type of sea treasure. Every type of mushroom. God. They're just cumulative. Okay. Oh, yeah. I like achievements. So I feel like these will just kind of happen over time. Oh, talk to Muku three times. Talk to Gachapin three times. I can do that right now. Oh my god. 500,000 doko dollars. Let's talk to them. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Sorry, it's your bomb. Oh, and we gotta do this every day. Nice. Yeah, you'll complete most of them just from playing, so you don't have to think about. It. Okay. The squat toilet is the suggestion box. <laughs> oh. What are you gonna use these materials to make next? Looking forward to seeing your crafting skills in action, Kaska san. Where's that? I gotta find Muku. He's usually over here. Ooh, golden butterfly. So comfortably cool here. Are you here to stave off the heat as well, Kaska san? There we go. Money! It almost it feels weird playing this. Like, when I play Yakuza, I'm ready for like battles and looking at Kiryu. But I'm I'm basically just playing Animal Crossing now. Having a good time. <laughs> So relaxing. Get that rock! Oh, I guess it's done. What are you gonna make next? Oh, another squat toilet. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they're just all like afraid of Ichiban. The things he's making. Just turning their island to the weirdest, sleaziest place in Hawaii. I look forward to seeing your skills in action on something else. Anything else, please. Please. Please stop making toilets. It's making everyone very uncomfortable. We got a record player. <gasps> Ooh. A silver starfish. Oh. Uh, yeah, we can't do that. Let's get some fish. Oh, I see the beetle. I see that beetle. Got a rhino beetle. Get some fish. Oh, that's a big one. Whoops. I was about to say how easy this minigame is. A squid! Get that big one. A barracuda. We'll name it Danny. Or, uh, Dwight. We'll name it Dwight. I feel like I'm not gonna do the island all stream. I think I am gonna go. Want, uh, yeah. I am going to want to go back to the island because I want to unlock that job. But maybe we'll get to like one star or two star and then go. The so popularity is up. I gotta put more furniture. That's really what I'm missing. Let's go. I can put the public restroom. But, you know, realistically, a resort does need a public restroom, so that's not too weird. 
It's just weird that it's all we have, you know. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> yep, it's like the public restrooms in all the Yakuza games. Oh my god. <laughs> Amazing. Um, oh, where do I put it? Hmm. Can barely even see. Oh, here we go. Zoom out. There we go. I know how to play video games. Well, it could be the first thing you see when you walk in. And look how, like, disgusting it is. It's not even, like, a nice restroom. It's, like, scary. I wouldn't want to even go in there. Perfect. But, you know, the people like it. They really like it. And then, um, the second thing you'll see after the bathroom is the vending machines. Get your snacks. And, uh, everyone needs a hat. Wish I could put them, like, on top. Where is it? Oh, it's so tiny! I couldn't even see it. Um... We'll just have a row of hats, and this is what everyone has to wear when they enter our resort. It's a requirement. It's like a uniform. <clears throat> we already have a public restroom. It's called the OSHA. The only thing stopping us from Infinite Crossing is that job. I need to see it. That's the thing that I keep thinking about it. I think it should be. Get the clientele prepared for what they're going to encounter. Yeah. This this really sets the bar, you know? What do we got now? We need more satisfaction. Yeah, we're at 700. Well, what else could they possibly want from me? They got a bathroom, vending machines, and hats. What else? Where's the fountain? Definitely want the fountain. Oh, I need pearls. Interesting. Well, let's make all this fun stuff. Make a truck. Let's make the truck. I found satisfaction hard to raise. Oh. Dilapidated building. Well, with this kind of stuff, I think it's hard to make people happy. <laughs> uh, bar yokai sign. Office desk. Oh, I forgot I want to make him a PC. A uh, white vending machine. A Versailles rug. An 18 liter drum. A park fountain. A table with a parasol. That's actually a good one. A simple house. A garbage truck. Bar good look sign. A brown armchair. Yeah, just builds a truck out of nothing. Recycled materials, that's all I need. I could literally make the truck, that is so funny. <laughs> what else should I do? We gotta have telephone box. Okay. We got a jungle gym, a grand piano, gas stove, cafe parasol. Here we go. Okay, table with a parasol. Let's make two. Okay, what else? What else? A market stall. Beautiful. Multi-story complex. Jacuzzi with lion faucet. <laughs> Exquisite U-shaped sofa. A cafe uh, counter stool. A photo op board. A white shelf, sunboard, surfboard, surfboard set B, <laughs> retro cabinet, ooh, arcade cabinet. Also. And the world is your oyster. I'm paralyzed with choice. I want this one. This one's cute. <laughs> That's a normal thing. That's a normal thing to make. I want this. Well, where's the PC? There it is. It's easy to make it. Wow. Who knew you only needed nine pieces of materials to make a whole computer? 
<laughs> just Good on job. the dirt outside. Amazing. Let's make this. <laughs> and this, yes, yes. Let's make three. <laughs> Let's do... Oh yeah, photo op. Photo op! <laughs> gotta have that. We got a karaoke lounge, a black minivan, a white sofa, a street lamp. Well, maybe we should put some street lamps too. I well I gotta make this. <laughs> I keep going for the sleazy stuff. God damn it. We're gonna have a sleazy island. Oh no. And you know these do increase satisfaction. Actually the piano does more. I gotta make this. I'm gonna put it in his house, you know? This will be for Ichiban. Doesn't mean the island is sleazy. <laughs> Ichiban! This house will be sleazy. Not the island. <laughs> Gotta clear out the area behind the house tomorrow. I hope I remember that I can just go, eh? Oh! And make a new computer when I'm doing it. <laughs> oh, a table with a wooden parasol. We got an ATM, a chair, a candy shop game machine. Gotta make, gotta, ha gotta have those! <laughs> What else? What else did I get? An ATM? We gotta make those. Yep, yep, yep. Let's do two. <laughs> I'm envisioning what it will look like in my head. I'm like, I need one of those. I need one of those. Yep. Uh, let's see. What else? What else? What else? Gotta have these. Gotta have that. <laughs> I'm going to run out of materials. <laughs> we got a cafe table, a storage shed, a tanuki stand. <gasps> we can bring back the statue! More lamps. Okay, hold on. There we go. He lives again! He lives. Now, there was entire buildings. Oh, yeah, that was just furnishings. Okay, let's do some street lamps. Let's see. Let's do... What vibe are we going for? I like this one, but it uses more materials. But I do have a lot. Let's make... Three of these. I almost didn't even see it. And then... Oh, satisfaction. Let's do more of those. Let's do... Two. Hold up again. We got a health center, a large jacuzzi, another chair, an Odin display. Oh, I gotta make that. Let's make the Odin display. Where was that? Heck was it? Here it is. Yes. No! Oh, I need daikon. Oh. We're gonna do farming, aren't we? We got a farm. Uh, the health center is sleazy? What kind of health center is that? What is the karaoke? The karaoke is pop. Let's do it. Gotta have karaoke. That's probably the most important thing next to the squat toilets. <laughs> Just casually making a whole building. An unassuming eatery. Yushu number one star sign, a uh, red bar chair, an automatic mahjong table. Ooh! What was that? I gotta start placing this stuff. I just keep making things. I can't stop. Here we go. Mahjong. They're like, hey, you want to get healthy? <laughs> oh no, like a massage place? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I can't have that. Um, I think I want to start placing things. I have so much stuff. 
what do all the buildings say? Uh, let's see. So, karaoke's pop. The clothing is rustic. The health center is sleazy. The multi-story complex is sleazy. The house is rustic. I might make the house. The dilapidated building is rustic. Unassuming eatery is sleazy. Maybe it's a front for the Yakuza. And a worn-out office is rustic. Okay. Let's do it. Let's start building for reals. Okay. We've got... I forgot I even made this. We got a coffee truck. So cute. I'm just gonna put everything, like, against this side here. This... <laughs> I mean... I honestly think that this makes sense. Because it's like, oh, the first thing you come in is, like, you see... There's a public restroom, which looks absolutely disgusting. Um, little vending machines, some random hats, and then you got your first little, like, restaurant. Okay, let's start building, like, a little area instead of just being in a line. How about that, fishy? Okay, uh, where's the karaoke in my storage? God dang. Oh, we got to satisfaction! We did it! All I needed was a cafe truck. I need storage. Is there storage outside? Yes, there is, right here. Okay, hold on, hold on. Don't need that one right now. Wait! Okay, let me grab everything. I need the karaoke! We have 300 eggs. Oh my god. It's given me so many things. I haven't even gotten the eggs unlocked yet. Okay, in edit mode, you should be able to place from storage. Okay, my bad. Let's see. Because this is like my inventory. A place path? Oh, we can make paths too? Ooh. I don't see storage. Unless it's here. Hey, Lucha, welcome in. Is Yakuza Animal Crossing now? I guess so. I, I think it is. <laughs> We've unlocked Animal Crossing in Yakuza. There's paths! Oh my god. I don't feel creative enough to do this right now. <laughs> I was never the great designer in Animal Crossing. Me and Rivo shared an island and they did a lot of the stuff. Oh man, okay. Can I change the path that's already there? Because I don't really like this too much. No? Okay. It's just gonna always look like that. Great. See, that would, that would upset me too. Connect the paths? To where? Excuse me? How do I make this happen? Oh, oh! Oh, that's interesting. Okay. I see. Oh, it's not like a square. Okay. Oh, that's why. Okay, wow. For some reason, I thought it was going to be like a square where you place it. This is much better. Are you about to burst in there and take control? I know, I, I'm... i I'm tempted to have Ruvo, like, help me design this place. <laughs> to make it actually look kind of nice. Because, I mean, that's what I started with. That is what I started with. But, you know, maybe we need to make a pathway. Maybe, maybe this needs to be just the little spot. You know, the little spot that started it all. Where the resort came from humble beginnings. You know. But let's make a pathway right to it. That's a cute path. Yeah. There you go. That is, um... The tourist attraction. Like, the first few furniture uh, pieces placed... By uh, Ichiban. <sighs> now, I want to make... So let's do this. And then we're going to have our little karaoke place. Right here. Yes. Perfect. You zoom out. <laughs> Keep forgetting. Now... I don't really want the karaoke place to be directly behind the restroom because I feel like it's just gonna smell. And nobody wants that. So maybe karaoke should be like 
Over here. <laughs> Maybe it could be next to the squat toilet. <laughs> Not really a resort so much as a giant modern art installation. Pretty much. You know what? Maybe we'll do a good middle ground. It'll be right next to the um, tourist attraction in the middle. How's that? I think I like that. Dumb. Have some some tables. You know what? Let's have them uh like right behind the truck. You can get your food and then you can go sit at the little bench. It's perfect. And then we just need some chairs. And let's see. We need ATMs, absolutely, yep. They were already building a little a little place here. This is great. We'll put this uh over there as you head out to the beach. Pick up your surfboard, yes. And yeah, the creativity is happening. The creative juices are flowing. I'm not a lost cause putting stuff in a freaking line. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, we need we have the photo op. Yep, yep, yep. We'll put that over here. This is like the fun zone, you know. There we go. Beautiful. And then uh these. Yeah. This is this is happening. This is working out. Have a little have the candy. You know, this is, this would go with the capsule. This would go with it. You know what? Let's uh let's move the capsule. So the toilet will always stay there. But let's move the capsule over here. This makes more sense. <laughs> it kind of like looks like meaningful now. Like, let's kind of like... Oh, it can't be centered. That's fine. That's fine. Tell you what, I've been to karaoke places where it did smell like a sewer. Bad pipes or something. I know, it's the worst. It is the worst. Oh, I have another one. Oh, I forgot about the market stall. Okay. Now, this is the real food here. Oh, yeah. This is happening. This is a happening place now. And then the outdoor arcade... Yeah, let's do it. This is the this is the gaming area. Go. And then that's for Ichiban. We could put another one over here. Oh, oops. Welcome in. <laughs> Thanks so much for the 100 bits, oops. Welcome. What are you doing? What are you up to? What are you doing here? <laughs> Love your decorating taste, thank you. Do you like my um, squat toilet? Next to my uh, Yakuza finger... Uh, Yakuza knife... What is it called again? Hold on. What is this? Yakuza... Uh, knife... Cutting set. I don't know. <laughs> it's so you can cut off your pinky! If you're Yakuza! That's what it's for. Right next to the squatty potty. And the inflatable bed. <laughs> this is this is the questionable area. But this is uh, basically Animal Crossing Yakuza style. And it's exactly what you would think. It's like Animal Crossing, but sleazy and weird. You should show Opes your room. Oh, you're so right. Pinky serving station. Oh, severing, sorry. Severing station essential. Serving station. <laughs> <laughs> serving pinkies Adima. here. Oh no. Uh, yeah, so here's my room. Do you like it? It has plants, too. All I can say is, uh, it's hard to miss. Pretty hard to miss. Ideal living space, yeah. If only everyone's house was like this. Most normal Yakuza living enclosure. <laughs> it's like a Yakuza terrarium. <laughs> I've sealed Ichiban inside and he's lived there for 30 years. Watch what he does. <laughs> 
I mean, I've got my Majima Construction hat and my other pinky cutting set and my, um, my sushi. And old Bessie here. Taps on the glass. <laughs> you can't be too bothered by that. <laughs> As you can see, his environment is in perfect equilibrium. The way I would part with one of my pinkies for that sushi. I know! Doesn't it look so good? Let's get a closer look. Now, my thing is, like, I don't think anything on here is meant to be salmon. And, um, I have a problem with that. Where's the salmon? I need it. Because this doesn't look like salmon. Like, this looks like salmon roe. This looks like a tuna roll and a cucumber roll. This looks like tuna. Uh, tamago. And then maybe, like, shrimp. Oh, this is shrimp. I don't know what this is supposed to be. Maybe octopus? No salmon. And I don't know what this is. Not sure. We need salmon when you have tuna. I mean, listen, I do love a good tuna. However, I will go great lengths to find a good salmon uh, sushi place. Oh! We're progressing. We're Oi. doing things. Oh, I think it's uni. That makes sense. Actually, uni is very good too. No, I would eat everything on that plate. Don't worry. I would clear that plate with help <laughs> from others. But I do love Sam. Yo, looks like you're doing well. Oh, hey, Kenzo-san. Your house looks more like a home now that you've filled it with all kinds of knickknacks. Like my 20 squat toilets? I know. Very homey. Starting to feel a little cramped now, don't it? Yeah, sorta. I wish I had more room for more squat toilets. <sighs> if it were just a little bit bigger, I could decorate with even more squat toilets. <laughs> Tell you what, how about I do just that? Make it a little bit bigger. Seriously? That's possible? Sure is. But let me be frank with you for a second. This house of yours was built ages ago. It's downright decrepit. If you want to improve it right now, then the best thing to do would be to rebuild it completely. Clean up the exterior for you and expand the room. It'll cost a hefty sum of doko bucks, but it ain't a bad deal. So basically, a home makeover, huh? Look at it this way. In order to protect this island, you're gonna need more strength. No better way to make a full recovery than relaxing in a proper home. Yeah, I guess you have a point. I'll think on it. Just so you know, with my skills, you can leave all your furniture as is, and I'll just work around it. If you want to renovate your home, come see me at Matayoshi. You can now request for an expansion. Oh my god, you can make a nice house! Pay Kenzo in Doku Bucks, and he'll build an extension to Casca's home, allowing for more furnishable space. Don't forget to deck out his home, too, especially since it'll increase Casca's health. The exterior of his home can also be renovated after adding an extension. Give Don Doku Island a little personal touch with a home makeover. Oh, I'm so excited for that. I am sure I don't have enough money. I mean, I do have 84,000 right now, but... I need money for other stuff, too. I could upgrade um, one of my tools. Let me see how much the house is. 100,000. Oh, dang. Okay. We'll have to work up to that. Let me upgrade something. <sighs> Probably the bat. I feel like that's most important. Let's do it. More room for toilets. You could have a whole room for toilets. What a great idea! We can call it... A toilet room. Yeah. That's it. Wow, we're so innovative. Maybe other stuff that requires plumbing, like a sink or a shower? But it's a toilet room. Implying it's just for toilets, you know? You know, like my 20 toilets. In fact, if we have a whole room just for the toilets, we could probably have like 50 toilets. I think that would be best. No. All right, swinging, swinging speed and sweeping strike have been improved. What else does it want me to do? Sell an item and destroy rocks. Sell something. 
What do I not want? I want all of this. Um, okay, storage. Have a shell. Bat. Yeah, now we have nails on the bat. Did I pick up the stuff for the day? Hold on. See, now I gotta keep track of stuff I have to do every day. Okay, I already got that. I think I already looked around here. I did not. I don't think I'm gonna buy any furniture, though, because I can just unlock it over time. Like, it's fine. Okay, I gotta break some rocks. Oh, and there's guys to fight. Come here! I'm stronger now than I've ever been before! And of course it's Yakuza, so you can fight people too. <laughs> it is it is truly Animal Crossing Yakuza style. It's actually hilarious. It is uh It's amazing. As a fan of both Yakuza and Animal Crossing, this is truly a dream. Put some video games in there. Yeah. Yeah, we could have a we could have a video game in the toilet room. We could call it um Boy Toilets. Like like a toy. Yeah. Really Coming up with unique ideas here that no one's ever thought of before. We're so smart. I can't even clear this area because it's too expensive. Um, I want to expand my house so bad. Beetle. Beetle. It's actually not that difficult to catch things, like... Oh! I can mess up and they won't fly away. Ooh, silver. Yeah, we probably should start selling the, the bugs and fish, huh? So this is blocked off for now. I did all my dailies. Okay, what else did I want to do? I have stuff I want to put in my house, but there's no room because I have so many toilets. I could DIY some more stuff. I could go fishing. Sell the stuff I catch. I mean, is there any other reason to keep the bugs and fish other than selling? Like the rare ones, I feel like I want to save. A balloon light? Okay. Just put them in a PC case and force them to work. Oh, turn the bugs into a computer? Oh, no! Poor bugs. Oh, silver. Can these crickets run Doom? <laughs> Let's find out. In Ichiban's latest YouTube video. Okay, later on you may need a few, but you can get them pretty easily. Okay. A green barricade. You know, I feel like as Yakuza fans, we've joked about this. Like Ichiban in Animal Crossing. You know, just some some offhanded comment like that. And then they actually freaking did it, you know? You have a toilet that runs Doom? Ah. Uh... I don't have to work on that. We'll have to workshop it. Oh, we can go fishing here too. Whoa, there's a really fast one. Let's do it. Whoa! Look at him go! Almost got him. Oh my god. Oh my god! Jesus! I'll be here all day! Oh, there we go. A mahi mahi! Oh! 
sell that. I always remember that fan art I've seen of the first game's party uh, as Animal Crossing characters. I think I know what you're talking about. And oh no! Oh no, Michio? I did not know there was a fish called an Ono. I stay up all night fishing. <laughs> oh, a jellyfish! Fun. Little shrimp. Does he know how to fry rice? Yes. Another shrimp. Oh, that scared me. It's fatal frame now. <laughs> it's a little scary looking at night. Okay, hold on. I want to do more fishing. Hey, Panda, welcome in. Sounds like a dragon, New Horizons. It's wonderful. We've started building the island. We've got uh, a little setup here. You can't really see it. It's dark. It's dark outside, but we've got karaoke. And that's the most important. I actually haven't, like, walked through and actually looked at everything. But it's too dark now. I'm gonna go fishing over here first. Oh, no, fishio. Hey, shiny wolf. Build a lamp! You know what? That actually reminded me. I, I have street lamps and I haven't placed them. <laughs> Oops. I forgot. Did I get all the fish already? Oh, I think I already fished here earlier. Okay, let's go to sleep. No fish? Time for bed. Let's get over here. Hmm. I'm so relaxed right now. Oh, here's my room. Or Ichiban's room. Uh, my room would never look like that. Uh, Ichiban's could, though. We've got a pool table for when our friends come over. Um, you know, indoor bicycle for exercising. Uh, cow. And uh, the maid watches us sleep. Our bookshelf. Plants. Uh, and that's, that's it. Yep, nothing else about this room of note, really. The cow is pretty self-explanatory, yeah. I wish my living room had a giant cow in it. <laughs> Notice the squatty potty summoning circle. I mean, I, I wasn't gonna mention it. I feel like it, uh... It's like the most normal part of the room. I, I don't even know if it was worth mentioning, but... Just so you can wait! Oh my god! <laughs> Let's go to sleep. My bad. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, we got the helmet. Safety. There was a weapon, you know, there was a, a knife. Gotta be careful. Good morning! Time for our morning assembly! Okay. Let's see. So we just need to clear out the great tree and we'll get one star. So I need more money. I think I need a hundred thousand. Oh, I see. So it'll cross it off. Oh, wait. Oh, I can clear it out. Oh, it's only 40. Why did I think I couldn't get to it yet? Okay, let's do that first thing. <laughs> Oh. Let's do that immediately. After we fight these guys. How far have I gotten? Um, I don't know a good way to explain it, but I am about to get to the one star ranking. I just need to clear out this area. Um, but yeah, here's our, here's our place. Let's start from the beginning. Hold on. I gotta get Flubber real quick. Okay. <laughs> Anyway, so this is the place. So when you first walk in, ignore the trash. Ignore the rusted uh, metal. Ignore the disgusting floors and the out of order sign. 
Um, but this is, you know, a restroom. Everyone needs a restroom when you go to a place. Um, here's our vending machines. For people to spend their money. Um, some hats on the floor. Here is our coffee truck. Which, uh, I don't know where my employee is. I hired somebody and he hasn't shown up yet. I'm not really sure why. Um, and then we got an ATM. Which, you know, every resort needs. You gotta be able to have money at a resort. Um, tables with no chairs. I forgot about the chairs. 30 minutes ago. Uh, just a fun- this is like a little fun corner here, you know, you get your- your coffee and your snack and you don't sit down, but you can place your items on a table nearby. And then you can take some pictures. Uh, and of course, you know, we gotta have the karaoke. 24 hours, in fact. Open at all hours of the day and night. Um, and you can sing your heart out. And, um, another ATM. Money. Very important. And then we've got the arcade machines here. Video game, uh, which is actually my favorite. That's my favorite game ever. Um, so I'm really glad they have that. And we got three of them. I, I think these are going to be in high demand, so I put a lot. And uh, we got the capsules. And I forget what this is, but we got it. And of course our Squatty Potty uh, 9000 with the knife and the inflatable bed. Uh, this right here is actually the highlight of the entire resort. This is uh, where it all started. And uh, it's probably the most popular tourist attraction that we're going to have. And then of course we have real food over here too. It's like we got chicken and hot dogs and some other thing. Um, I also hired someone for this spot and they also haven't shown up. And I'm also not sure what that is about. But uh, hopefully they'll show up soon. And then of course we have our Tanuki for good luck. Oh! The sunlight kind of brought out your uh, features a little bit. scared me a little bit. Just a tad. All right. <laughs> Bishon chicken. Yep. That's what it's called. It's the Bishon chicken. <laughs> the row of arcade machines reminds me. I went to a video game convention this weekend. Oh, nice. It was fun. They had a lot of arcade games and pinball. Also live wrestling. Oh, wow. That sounds really fun. I love conventions of all types. Super, super fun. I'm glad you had a great time. When you gaze into the Tanuki, the Tanuki gazes back. I mean, where else would it look? Oh my god, I haven't done any of my daily activities. Um, I have to sell... Hold on, wait. I was gonna clear out this area. I got distracted. Okay, let's clear it out. It's very important. Oh yeah! Now that we met all the requirements, we considered a one-star resort. We just need Matadoshi-san to contact the resort review board. Better talk to him about it. All right! We have even more room for activities! And squat toilets! Thank God! We could have like a hundred of them now. I missed. Well, I also want to go fishing, so I'm going to go do that. I like fishing. It calms me. It relaxes me. Oh, it wants me to talk to Muku. Hello, Kaskasan. Today's another beautiful day. It sure is. It sure is, Muku-san. I'm having a great time. Oops. catch up with chat. Hold on. I feel like I'm <laughs> barely reading chat today. I'm so sorry. 
Yes, I found out about the paths. Fishy is 20 toilets deep into the minigame. <laughs> um, 21, actually. There's 20 indoor and one outdoor. Thank you. <laughs> um, actually. <laughs> oh. I love that Ichiban's answer to littering is to hit the garbage with a baseball bat. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's it's just going microscopic and entering the soil, which uh, we will have to pay for eventually down the generational line. But apparently it's not Ichiban's problem. So. <sighs> oh, we should sell the bugs, too. I forgot. The bugs and fish. <laughs> oh. Delicious, nutritious microplastics. Yes. They're so good for you. Oops. There's a lot of scuttlers. Yes. Yeah. I remember, um, I think there was one point where I was playing Yoxa Zero, and we literally sat there just fishing for like an hour, and I just played Animal Crossing music the whole time. And I feel like I have somehow manifested this from that one moment. So you're welcome. <laughs> it's all thanks to me. My inventory is full! How is it full? What? What? Okay, I gotta go place furniture, I guess. It does want me to place furnishing outside. Let's do it. I got more stuff. Um, well, this is for inside the house. Let's put the lamps. I definitely need to put some lighting out here. There's room right here. Perfect. And we'll put one over here. And then let's put one in the other area too. Gotta make them symmetrical. Super important. Oh yeah, we have a telephone box. Let's put it right here. I don't know where it opens. I think right here. Okay. No. And we've got another one of these. a little seating area here at the front, yeah, where you could eat the other food at. We still need chairs. We definitely still need chairs. Um, this will be the observation area for the uh, forest attraction. And observe it. I could have an outdoor jacuzzi like behind. How do we feel about this? Is it is it overshadowing the the squat toilet, or or does it enhance it? What do you think? Yeah, now our guests can save their game at the telephone box. Exactly. Most chill mini game in Yoxa since the farming and fishing in Ishin, right? And I did love that too. Okay, enhances. Are we agreed on that? <laughs> do we like it? There's more satisfaction. The guests love it. There we go. <laughs> okay. What was I doing? I was fishing. Let's put some stuff away. Oh yeah, the mahjong table. A lot of fish. 
walking into the phone booth. I'm at soup. What do you mean you're at soup? I'm at the soup resort. Where all they serve is soup! I had soup today, actually. I made it from scratch and it was delicious! I'm gonna have more after the stream. Um, oh, and I can also play music! <gasps> I didn't think about that! <gasps> now it's a resort! This is the advertisement for the resort. Just focusing all on this. <laughs> Where else can you get a, a squatty potty in front of a jacuzzi, huh? <laughs> it's beautiful. The, the unfinished wood on the back of these things. They were not meant to be just out in the open. It's getting late! Oh no. Well, that just means we'll get to see the Honolulu City Lights. That's all. What was I doing? I have to craft something. Suspicious persons! How dare you interrupt my beautiful song? <laughs> Oh, that was almost on beat. That was beautiful. Pay for your Yakuza crimes at the Yakuza Jacuzzi while I take a poozy. <laughs> yeah, he went boing. Okay, sorry. We're gonna have to pause the music. Pause the music. We're gonna do stuff. We passed all the screening requirements to be a one-star resort. Did we give the resort review board a call? A resort review board? We did. I'll have everyone gather in the main plaza right away to share the good news. All right. Let's head over. I know, I love how the music keeps going even when you're fighting. Boy, we really cleaned up the main plaza. I wonder how long it's been since I've seen it this nice. We can build a giant skyscraper, or a cabaret club, or anything we want here now. The sky's the limit. Cabaret club, huh? Dewa, dewa. We're definitely qualified to be a one-star resort, right? Right. Come on, Matayoshi-san. Let's hurry and call the resort review board. You got it. Yeah, or 230 more toilets. That's another option. Hello. It's been a while, hasn't it, Mariyoshi-san? I never would have thought I'd get another request to review Don Doko Island. Talk about pleasant surprises. Asuka-san, meet the representative from the Resort Review Board. He once evaluated our island back when it was a more bustling place. I never suspected such a beautiful island would fall into ruins. It was terribly disappointing. Today will be the first evaluation in a long while. Were you able to pull yourselves up from rock bottom? That remains to be seen. Though I assure you, my review will be fair and unbiased. Thank you. We appreciate it, sir. The piles of trash over there. Oh my god. It's like a mountain of trash. Hmm. You've done a spectacular job at cleaning up this run-down resort in such a short amount of time. They all owe it to Kaskasan. And his squat toilets. Ah, shucks. <laughs> we get the one reviewer on the board who hates squat toilets! <laughs> He's got a problem with squat toilets! The size of the main plaza, the cleanliness, the squat toilets and the level of satisfaction all seem to meet standards. Excellent. Truly excellent. I hereby acknowledge Don Doko Island as a one-star resort. Oh yeah, baby! Congratulations! <laughs> it's about just like... <laughs> He's literally just fighting! The item offerings have expanded. New exclusive furnishings are available. Placing these on your island will increase the amount of resources at the collection point the next day. A small burnable waste dump, small non-burnable waste dump, and woodworking area, stoneworking area. <laughs> we did it! You get a toilet! And you get a toilet! And you get a toilet! We did it! This is all. We finally taken the first step forward! Right on. 
still got a ways to go before we're at five stars, so let's keep at it. And here are the promised funds from the resort review board. Please put it to good use. Ooh. To be recognized as a two-star resort, here are the conditions you must fulfill. Please make these your next goal. All right, more satisfaction popularity. Clear out the lighthouse and clear out the hills. All right. Sorry. Now then, if you'll excuse me. Thank you very much. Glad we could earn that star without any major hiccups. It's all thanks to you, Kaskasan. Words cannot possibly describe how much I appreciate your help. Please take this. Ooh, ten thousand do Ten thousand dollars? I thought it was Don Doku bucks, and I was like, oh, ten thousand. Okay, cool. I have ten thousand dollars right now. That actually means something to me now. Like, when I would get, like, you know, a hundred thousand yen, I'd be like, oh, cool. Looking like that job is yours. I got the money, that's for sure. He doesn't have the personality quite yet, but we can work on that together. Actual American dollars, not doko bucks. Well, you can only spend your doko bucks here on this island. But this is a mere token of my gratitude, Kaskasan. I'd rather you use this money however you want. The more prosperous this island becomes, the more I can repay you. It would mean a lot to me if you could accept this much for now, though. Arigatou. I really don't mind waiting, but are you sure? I really do appreciate this, though. It'll be helpful. It doesn't even begin to cover all the work you've done for us. Gachapin, Muku, all of us are so helpful for your, uh, so thankful for your help. Let's keep up the momentum and aim for two stars. Oh. Hell yeah. All right. If you want to be a two-star resort, we're going to need to open up the hills and lighthouse. I recommend starting with the hills first, since it's closer and relatively affordable to clear. We couldn't get to the hills up until now because of all the garbage in the way, but it looks like Kenzo-san took care of it for us. We could even head there now if you want. How about it? Yeah, it wouldn't be a bad plan to scope out the place first. Let's get going. So helpful for your thing. I do that all the time. Since we didn't have access to the hills, I'm sure it's in a state of complete disrepair and absolutely littered with trash. On the bright side, that'll make it easier to gather resources, so let's collect every little scrap. You got it. Leave no junk pile undemolished. Oh boy. Yeah, dealing with all this garbage is gonna be so worth it. Right? Oh, look who we have here. The owner and his lackey finally make their appearance. Huh? The washbucklers. Since you left this place to rot, we put it to good use as our biggest dumping ground, see? Now we're gonna have a problem on our hands if you fools decide to reclaim this area after you've gone and abandoned it. Awfully rude to snatch it back now, don't you think? Weren't you the ones who blocked us out with all your garbage in the first place? And this was never your land to begin with. Quit dumping your trash here. Hmm, no. I don't think I will. We've been keeping an eye on you lot for quite some time now, and it's becoming clear you really do intend to take this trash heap back for your own. Oi. Which means it's time for us to get serious, too. Ain't that right, lads? <laughs> Eek! You want this piece of land? Then you're gonna have to get through my crew. Want us to take them out now, Captain? Oh. Aye. And when you're done, cast their corpses into the sea all proper like. Them fishes will be eaten well tonight. And that was just the first resort. I, uh, I'm going to have to do more uh, Dondoko Island stuff for more money. Aye, aye. Pull up your britches, you build-sucking scallywags. Take no quarter. Arr. <laughs> e I did I even hit anybody? I swear. All the money falling out of them is so funny. <laughs> Damn it. He's too strong. This place is no dumpster. 
Get the hell out of here. Damn it. We'll be back to retake this land and pay you back tenfold. Yeah, yeah. Exploding into gold doubloons, just like real pirates. Oh, yeah, and like, yeah, it's a zero. Yes. Asuka-san, are you okay? Are you hurt? Nah, I'm fine. Look, now we can get to work in this area. Right you are. And it's so spacious here. Once the trash has been cleared, we'll be able to build all kinds of large facilities. It'll be even easier now to collect resources. Let's work hard to restore this area. Yeah, let's do it. Fight for your land! Some areas on the island are currently occupied by the Washbucklers. In order to reclaim the land, you'll have to defeat them in battle. If your health gets reduced to zero, you'll be sent home, but you can challenge them as many times as you want by re-entering the area. Just be prepared and give those pesky pirates what for. But I am a bit worried about those pirates coming back again. They did say they would to retake the land. <laughs> well, if they do come, I'll just get rid of them. Otherwise, we won't be able to clear the area. How admirable of you. Thank you so much, Kaskasan. Hills are now open. I still have to sell something. What is that? What is that? What is that? Oh, a grasshopper. A Don Doko stone. Okay. Yeti question mark fossil? Huh? We got ore. Platinum ore. Got a red bug. A poison gnat. Dinosaur fossil? They got everything here. Oops. A scorpion! That did not look like a scorpion. No. Oh. Now it's time to whack that trash! Yeti and dinosaur fossils are just Muku and gotcha pit droppings? But I have so many squat toilets! Why can't they go in those? In, in uh, Japanese game show fashion, there's a celebrity reaction cam box on the side of the screen. <laughs> a bunch of little faces. Whoa! Oh, that's so funny. Cool. I have anything else I want to put outside. Let's see. You see, I don't know how to go to my inventory from here. Because this is just my pocket, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I have to craft something and sell something. Or I go to sleep. Let's sell a bunch of stuff. Let's see, um, sell. What do I have a lot of. Critters. Oh, they're gonna be in storage. Here we go. Sell all of those. Maybe I'll just keep one of everything at least, just in case. Save the mushrooms. We get a lot of these.
We can sell all of these because they're they're everywhere. Okay, I think that's good. Thank you. Oh, uh, good night, friend. Thanks for popping in and hanging out with us. I appreciate it. Has it already been two hours? Oh my god. <laughs> How has it been two hours? It hasn't felt like that. Oh my god. Well, have a good night, friend. Thanks for being here. Oh my god. Miracle Johnson. Oh, what else to make? Was there anything I wanted to do? I want to do this one, of course, but we have to get the farming first. Oh, I do need chairs. I do need chairs. Maybe we'll make some chairs. We'll throw a piano out there. I don't know. We'll see. I can't make that yet. I can't even make this yet either. make a little house. Um, let's get some chairs. Will this make sense to be outside? Let's see, outdoor. I don't think I have any chairs I can put outside. Let me make one and see what happens. That's the curse of Don Doko Island. Time speeds up in real life. I know. My gosh, island is going well. We've got our little, our little, I don't know what to call it. I keep wanting to say our little town. I guess I'll call it that. Our little town is coming along. I am up very late, apparently. Um, let me place this chair. It'll let me. I think so. Yeah. Oh, it matches. Can I put it? Oh, might not. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's just not enough room here. I put it there. Is it not meant to have like chairs around it? Okay. okay. Oh, it's like too close. The island is going. Listen, I, I think it's beautiful so far. Thank you very much. I'm pretty sure you can only play. You can place anything outside, but only some stuff inside. Okay. Well, it. Like this makes sense, right? Like I want to put a chair right here, and I can't. It's like, <laughs> I can put it all the way over here. Okay, we'll do that then. That makes so much sense. Okay, so we're going to have tables and benches, apparently. No chairs. That's not really going to work. Hmm. Well, the tables and chairs don't do that. Man. All right, I found my first criticism. <laughs> now, Ichiban is a gamer, so this needs to happen, but I don't have, like, a desk for it. So we'll have to make one. Unless I can put it somewhere silly. Like, like up here. I can put it on the floor. Is this the ideal gamer, um, setup? I think so. And we'll have a little record player. This will be like, kind of the little, like, office area. And, um, let's just make sure this is set up properly. Perfect. <laughs> this is the ideal gamer setup. Okay. If, if your setup doesn't look like this, don't be embarrassed. It's fine. Not everybody can afford to be at peak gaming condition, you know. But, you know, Ichiban's got it. Ichiban knows what he's doing, so. So that's good. Good for him. What about you? I'm not a, a peak gamer condition. Yeah. But what else can I say? I'm not embarrassed about it, it just is what it is. <laughs> Let's get down.
around the business and start today's morning assembly. <laughs> Gee, what a day yesterday! Don Doko Island is officially a one-star resort. Let's keep it up and aim for two stars. Let's see. What's it take to get a two-star rating? Yeah. Looks like the biggest tasks are to clear the lighthouse in the hills. Does that sound doable? Well, both areas are pretty close to the plaza. If you continue to take care of the trash and save money like you've done before, we shouldn't run into any problems. Ah. Cool. Let's just keep doing what we've been doing and then some. Good luck, Kaskasan. We'll also do our part too. Right, Muku? So this is of course. We need to start attracting visitors. Oh yeah? Yes, sir. Now that we're on a one now that we're a one-star resort, we ought to start thinking about how to invite guests to come stay on the island. <gasps> We've got to show the whole world that this island's one extraordinary resort. The best place to relax and have fun and use squat toilets. And if we manage to attract visitors, we'll be paid for their stay, which will increase the cash flow exponentially. That's why guests are paramount to the island's growth. Okay, but where are they going to stay? Well, they can, uh, go camping or something. How wild! So wild! Are you serious? No, we can get away with that. Well, if we've got no place for him to stay, then we've got no choice but to make something ourselves. I'll take care of it. Will? Yeah. You want a tent? Cottage? No problem. I can build anything. But if you're gonna have me construct guest lodgings, then you're gonna need the capital. Guess the first order of business is amassing enough funding ourselves. Come find me once you've got the cash. Let's see what I can make for you then. All right, by paying Kenzo Doko Bucks to build lodgings, guests will come to stay on the island. Lodgings differ in maximum occupancy uh, and rank. The higher a lodging's rank, the more luxurious the guests will find their stay. Lodgings that have been built by Kenzo can be placed in edit mode or from your bag, like furnishing. The entrance of lodgings must be placed along a road. Guests can be accommodated the morning of the day after you place a lodging. Oh. Only a limited number of lodgings can be placed on the island. At first, only one lodging can be placed, but as you continue to clear out areas, you'll be able to place three on the north side of the island, fields, cave, and forest, and two on the south side at the entrance, great tree, hills, and lighthouse. If you put away an occupied lodging, the guests will be left without accommodations and will leave the island the next day. You can transfer them to another lodging by setting up new ones or by finding one with a vacant room. Welcome Interesting. Back. Gotcha. If we make guests lodgings, the island will get even livelier, you see. Oh, the thought just makes my heart race with excitement! Oh my goodness. <laughs> Thank you so much for the 100 bits, Wolf, to help you get that peak gamer status and setup. So kind of you. <laughs> Thank you very, very much. <laughs> Okie dokie, let's go over today's workload. Good morning, everyone. Let's work hard today. All right. I am very excited for guests. Let's do it. Oh, yeah, let's see. What are the dailies today? Craft something. Gather resources from the collection point. Three trees, three bugs, three fish. Alrighty, time to start the day. On Doko a go go. Okay, let me see how much it's gonna be. Oh, his area looks a little nicer now. Okay, let's see lodgings. Oh, we could do one right now. I mean, it wouldn't be very pretty, but you know. Oh, we have to be a two-star for anything nicer. Wow. Well, I don't want to do the cardboard house. Let's do a tent. Let's do one. And then I guess we can move it around. Yeah. If we want to bring in guests, we'll have to set up lodgings. Let's hurry. We'll put it right here, next to the Tanuki statue. There. Now that the lodgings are finally ready, we can start inviting guests to stay here. I'll bring it up at tomorrow's morning assembly. Oh, I have to wait. Okay. 
It says you they can be accommodated the morning of the day after. Oh, after you place it. Okay, my bad. Okay, so we'll have to wait. That's fine. That's okay. Got all this room. What shall I put there? I don't know. It's good enough for Nanba. It's good enough for our guests. Well, I don't know if Nanba standard should be what we hold ourselves to. It's an idea, though. And ideas are good. <laughs> Those are good. Also, I might be ready to leave the island at least for a little bit. Got a shell. A sheep sign! I'm questioning the placement of the bear fountain next to the urinal. Um, actually, it's a, a lion jacuzzi. <laughs> Thank you very much. And uh, I am not accepting criticism at this time. They're gonna have a whole farm. So you know what we do need is the chicken coop! I am waiting for that. Another barracuda. Yeah, let me finish up maybe the daily tasks. I don't know what happens when you leave in the middle of the day. Does it just pause time until you come back? Like, if it's afternoon, it'll be afternoon when I come back on the same day, right? Yes? Yes? Okay. So we could just kind of leave whenever. Um, let's do it. Let's head back to land. To Hawaii. And let's see if we can unlock that job. Since we're about halfway through with the stream. I can't believe we're halfway through with the stream already, honestly. I, I felt like it's been maybe 30 minutes tops. <laughs> It's been two hours. Oh, shit. They've never ran away before. It was a spider. We got another coffee truck. Look cute. Only two hours in Don Doko Island today, the restraint. I mean, we're gonna come back. <laughs> it depends how long this is gonna take, but we're gonna enter the next part of the stream now. Let's do it. <laughs> oi, oi, my Plus, I can't stay far away from Kitty for too long. <laughs> I don't have any restraint when it comes to him. <laughs> okay. Now, um, I wonder if my style actually is there already, just by chance. Nope, no. Nope. Okay. We've got to get style up just a little bit. So I say we go to the vocational school and see if they have any style ones I can do. Because we have money now. I have over $10,000. Let's go here. Wow. I have not had that much money this whole game. That's amazing. And I technically have more money in the ATM, too. I have to be so careful. I can't lose any fights right now. I will be so upset. So I'm going to save. I'm scared. Just uh, appreciate this save icon with me, though. But I'm going to have to save over right now. Isn't that just great? Ichiban, where have you been? It's been three years. <laughs> I'm telling you, he was like in a coma and he's just woken up. Yeah, I know, I can convert the Doko Bucks. Uh, I'm not going to do it quite yet because, I mean, I, I do have $10,000 now. And I need the Doko Bucks to improve the island, but I'll probably start converting it later. When the Doko Bucks aren't, like, as important to me, I guess. <sighs> no! Have you spent too much time on the island? No! Don't even say these things to me. Don't even say that. Okay. Let me see what she has. Anything for style. 
Gala style with alcohol experts. Oh god. I don't know if I'll pass that one. Gardening? It's only 30, but that might be enough. Gems would be good. I, I think I know more about gems than alcohol. Let's see. Digimon. Okay, we don't have that many options. Let's do gardening first. Let's do that. What if, if we stay on the island, the kitty will never expire? That's, I like that one. I like that idea more. <laughs> I like that one a lot. Time flows differently on Dog Doggo. Yeah, it's like uh, Interstellar. <laughs> seven seconds on Dog Doggo is seven years in Hawaii. <laughs> Horrible. Uh, do we want to do a prediction for this one? Are we feeling a prediction today? I think we should do one. Want to set it up, Ruvo? Will I pass or will I fail the gardening exam? Now, I do garden, so I hope I'll know stuff, but I don't know how specific it's going to get. Predictions are so bad. We're so back. <laughs> Gambling is so back. <laughs> oh, oh. Just be stuck in a single moment of time, frozen on the beach, yeah. Um, he'll be, uh, what's the word? Immortal. Time for gambling. There it is. Thanks, Ruben. Will I win or will I lose? I'm, I'm pretty confident with the gardening one, but you guys pick whatever you feel in your heart. Let's see. We've got uh, about 1,800 on yes. Now... Even if you really believe in me, somebody's got to say no. Okay, we've got eight. We've got uh, 1,100 on nah. We've got 3,800 on yes. I'm going once, going twice. 2,100 on no. 4,400 on yes. Thanks for not believing me in me, Wolf. Someone had to. Someone had to vote no. <laughs> to make things interesting. I got 2,000 verbs writing on this, but hey, that was your decision. I believe in Bishy. Thank you. We got 4,500 on yes and 2,600 on no. If you'd like to gamble your in-chat currency, our verbs, feel free to click on the tab on the top of the chat and gamble. We got 5,000 on yes and 2,600 on no. Oh, oh, we got 5,000 on yes, 3,100 on no. Can't wait till uh, 1.6 for Stardew Valley. I know, it looks really, really cute. I haven't played Stardew in like a year, maybe. And even then, when I did play, it was only for maybe a month. This might bring me back. This might bring me back to it. The creator apparently is recommending making a new save file for the update. Oh. That makes it more interesting. I mean, I haven't even looked at my first Stardew Valley farm in forever. Like, three years, four years, something like that. All right, we've got 5,000 on yes and 3,100 on no. Let's see. Well, it's always a no. <laughs> That's okay. Someone has to say no so that the people who said yes can win money. I saw that too. I saw that too. All right. Another for no. Well. Okay, gardening! Let's do it. Uh, it's important to consider what season a flower will bloom in when gardening. Which of the following flowers bloom in spring? This one's summer. I grow these. I think these are marigolds. I don't quite know what that is. Tulips? I think tulips are spring flower. <laughs> oh no! Okay, which of the following plants requires a support in order to grow vines? Oh, um, definitely not lavender. Oh shit! Oh shit! Uh, what grows on a vine? What grows on a vine? Uh, hydrangea? Does hydrangea have a vine? Oh, I, was <laughs> I thought I would do much better with this. <sighs> Morning glory? Is that on a vine? It's definitely not lavender. Okay, hydrangea. Hydrangea. Uh, the ideal seeding method differs with somebody on the type of plant being grown. Which one would be appropriate for sowing pumpkin seeds directly onto a field? Oh, shit. I, I didn't know it was going to be this specific, okay? Oh, oh, this one. It's going to be this one. I have grown watermelons, and this is how you're supposed to grow them. 
So I really hope it's the same for pumpkins. <laughs> Which of the following flowers is famous for their thorns? Uh, roses. What else is here? Yeah, roses. <gasps> Uh, which of the following images is of uh, basil? A common kitchen herb often used in Italian cuisine, among others. Ooh, um, I think this is oregano. This is probably rosemary. Oh, that's a poinsettia. <laughs> uh, so this is basil. Okay, I probably passed. I think I passed. I was a little iffy on some of those. This, is, uh, this could go either way. Oh, thank God. Okay. I did it. How many did I mess up on? Okay, so everyone who voted yes wins. I did it! And we got... Oh no, just barely didn't get enough style! Are you kidding me? Oh, just barely not enough. Maybe I have an item that I can improve the style. I only missed one! It was Morning Glory. Okay, I really, I was not sure about this one, but I really don't know anything about Morning Glories and how they grow. So I just did not know they grew on a vine, but I knew it wasn't lavender because we grow lavender and it it is all fine on its own. There you go. Uh, let's see, it was tulip. Okay, good. Tulip season begins in late March to mid-May, depending on the temperature. This flower is often associated with spring. Morning Glories can't stand on their stems alone. Instead, they grow by using their vines to twine around nearby objects. You know, now that I'm looking at it, it makes sense, but I just did not know that. This was correct! To grow larger plants, use the point seeding technique. To establish dense plant spacing, use broadcast seeding. Lastly, to grow smaller leaf and root vegetables, use stripe seeding. Since pumpkins tend to grow big, point seeding would be best. Yeah, when we grew watermelons, um, it was recommended that you make a mound and then put uh like three seeds around like in a circle on each mound of dirt um those ones didn't grow but when we did it again later i kind of just like put a bunch of seeds on each mound and like 10 and then we finally grew watermelons and then of course yeah roses are notorious for having thorns even the most beautiful rose has thorns though popular for its lovely petals and pleasant fragrance the rose requires careful handling because of the thorns all over the stem Basil is relatively easy to grow and a popular herb to use in pastas, sauces, and other dishes. We also grow basil. How could you not know that? Yeah, you didn't <laughs> I didn't know that either. <laughs> I knew you could do it, Fishy. I'm so glad. I only missed one. I don't think I've done an exam where I missed nothing yet. That will make me excited, but we haven't we haven't gotten that yet. Now, I could do another exam, since they are fun. Uh, or I could look and see if I have an item, but... Exams are fun. Now, we might do a poll to determine what I do next, because they do the same amount of style. Just for fun. Will I do a poll, or will I just do it? Um, they're both the same thing, right? Yeah. Alright, let's do a poll. I don't know. I feel like y'all are going to vote alcohol, but we'll see. I'm fine doing either one. Uh, let's do a poll for alcohol or gem. I don't want to do Suchimon. Drinking and gambling, my favorite. Oh no. Oh, there's also small tasks in the personality menu that can give points to certain personality types. Oh. Are we doing a poll, Ruvo? Uh, alcohol or gems? Like the rocks. What about alcoholic gems? It's like rock candy, but it's like alcoholic rock candy? I don't think that would work. I don't think drinking and eating rock candy go together. <laughs> like the usual stuff, like eating everything at a restaurant. Oh, soju and orange juice. I haven't tried that. Hey, Rock Dad, welcome in. You have perfect timing. We're talking about rocks. It's like gems that are alcohol infused jello. Oh my god. Alright, y'all vote for which one you want me to do right now. 
This will probably be the last exam because I only need a few more points to you know, go unlock the job. So are we going to do the alcohol exam or the gem exam? We've got four on alcohol, two on gem. Oh, oh, gems is catching up. Oh, we're at a tie. Wow. We're at a tie. Okay. Five on alcohol and four on gems. Oh, like gushers. Actually, that is so right. There you go. No, I love gems. I'd be fine doing either. Alcoholic gushers. <laughs> I have never thought of that before. We're tied again. Five on both. Sentient gems who are alcoholic. Oh, no. Vodka gushers. Oh, no. <laughs> the one time I ever tried vodka with nothing else. Like nail polish. <laughs> it's disgusting. No. Oh. Oh, yeah. Vodka gummy bears. I don't know about that. Oh, I've used rock candy to stir alcohol and takes away the taste and sweetness. Oh, huh. I would not have thought of that. Okay, we have a tie, you guys. <laughs> Please. Well, does anybody else want to vote? We've got five and five. You can't do this to me. Somebody, please. One more person. Break the tie. Be the tiebreaker. Somebody, anybody. No. Nobody. Oh. Okay. <laughs> we got a tie. God damn it. Well, I'm just going to go for the gems. I'm going for the gems. Vote alcohol. I was like, but I don't know if, if somebody voted and they're just telling me what they said so they can get what they wanted. You know what I mean? I can't trust chat. No, no. <laughs> I mean, Peace Man, you did just get here, but I just arrived. No, I, I know. I know. Welcome in. <laughs> I don't know what to do now. I swear I didn't vote. I believe you. I did, but in chat, I believe. I didn't see the poll. Oh my God. I was like, somebody, anybody, please. <laughs> Just like, ooh, video games. I could flip a coin. I did that last time. Go by alphabetical. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm going to flip a coin on Google. We did that last time. I remember y'all gave me a tie an another time. God damn it. Okay. Uh, Google. Bring me a coin. Okay, before I Google it, I have to pick because as soon as you Google flip a coin, it just does it. You don't get a second. Um, I'm going to say heads is the alcohol one and tails is gem. Okay, Google, go. It's tails. It's tails. We're doing the gem. I mean, I'll do the other tests later, of course. But right now, we're doing the gems. All right. Google has spoken. I feel mistrusted. No, no. I just want it to be fair. So I'm like, okay, let's just do a coin flip. All right, gems. And then I'm probably gonna fail. <laughs> I swear, if I fail gems, but I pass the alcohol one, I'm gonna be so ashamed of myself. God damn you, Google. What if it's Bishy who's just saying what it was? Suspicious. If I, if I already knew what I wanted to do, why would I do a poll in the first place? Why would I not just pick what I wanted to do? The illusion of a democratic process. Wow. It's y'all's fault we got a tie. I didn't do that. I gave y'all a choice. And you said no. <laughs> For audience engagement points. You think that's the you think that's why I do polls? I do polls because I want y'all to feel included in the process. My tiebreaker doesn't count. Because it wasn't in the poll. I could do the poll again. Would that make you all happy? I even did a coin toss. I left it up to chance. Let's do a poll to figure out if we want to do another poll. <laughs> no, no, no. I know, we do the poll again and get another tie. 
<laughs> if I make a poll again and it's a tie, I'm ending stream, says Rubo. <laughs> okay, do it. let's re-roll the poll. We've got people in here who have opinions that they want to make known, and they didn't get the chance to do it with the first poll. So let's do it again. I think Chad is just here to make me suffer. Okay, gem or alcohol? Pay attention to where each one is, because I think they were swapped last time. Now I'm not going to vote out of spite. I want you to feel that your voice is heard. Why would you not vote? Don't swap the positions of the option. <laughs> I was thinking like, oh, that's a little bit of a trick there. It's like gerrymandering. <laughs> And then notice how gems is capitalized too. Gems! Or alcohol. Mm. <laughs> There's some bias in this poll. <laughs> okay, we've got five on alcohol and four on gems. We've got six on alcohol and four on gems. Gem people, vote now if you want gems to be chosen. We've got five on gems, seven on alcohol. We got six on gems, seven on alcohol. Okay, we're at another tie. Please, please don't make it a tie forever, please. We're at seven and seven. Somebody's gotta make eight. Somebody's gotta make eight. Come on. One more, one more. It's so over. What? We just, just one, just one person. You're kidding. Please, just one person. <laughs> just one. You just, we just need one more. Just one person. I'm just watching the time run out. Even more people voted and we're still at a tie. Oh, last minute vote. We got a last minute vote. That felt strategic. That felt like, okay, I don't want someone else to tie again, so I'm gonna wait until the last second and I'm gonna put the eighth on alcohol. All right, alcohol wins. Democracy wins. That was strategic. That was strategic. All right, alcohol wins. See, I waited to the end to prevent anyone from intentionally tying it. Amazing. PC man's got the strategies. That is so funny. <laughs> You knew it. it was like somebody's gonna do it on purpose. <laughs> it's not rigged. Someone else could have voted Jam at the last second. What happens if there was someone else that did that too? <laughs> exactly, but they didn't. Alcohol wins. <laughs> Alcohol wins again. <laughs> okay. I might fail this one. All right, now we're gonna do gambling. Drinking and gambling. Yay. Who's wins? Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do gambling to see if I win or lose. I'm... <laughs> I'm not as confident about this as gardening, but I did pass gardening, so... Oh my god, good thing I didn't do that, because I was going to and vote for Gem. Oh my god, <laughs> we really would have gotten a tie. <laughs> All right, set up that, uh, that prediction, Ruvo. Uh, for if I'll win or lose the alcohol exam. It's like I'm gonna be a bartender. I was about to think like, huh, an alcohol exam? That's so funny and unheard of. Oh wait, you can become a bartender. I spiritually voted alcohol the first time, but voted gems this time, interesting. And it's still lost. <laughs> While y'all predict and gamble, I am actually gonna go take a quick break because we are past the halfway point and I need to take a break real quick. I'll be back in like two minutes. Uh, when I get back, we'll do the exam 
and uh, we'll go get the job that I've been waiting for. So stick around for that. All right, BRB. All right, we're back. Time to alcohol. <laughs> no, time to catch up with chat. She's leaving to study up on alcohol. I'm just like furiously Googling the answers. I wouldn't cheat. What are we talking? <laughs> Hello? Have y'all ever heard of a diagonal Twix? Like the candy? Oh. A Twix that's diagonal? Just like rotated? Like cut diagonal? Is it, it, this is like that thing where people like get the Kit Kat bars and they just bite into all of them at once. That's what this is giving me. What about top versus bottom Twix? <laughs> what about heaven or hell Twix? Okay, we're getting into topics I don't know much about. <laughs> I am not educated on the Twix lingo here. Okay. Let's do the alcohol test. So, uh... I don't even know where all the predictions are. I don't have the amounts up anymore, but I'm going to do it. What about convex versus concave Twix? <laughs> yeah, they're just curved in or curved out. All right. Alcohol. Let's do it. Wish me luck. <sighs> the drink shown here is a popular cocktail most commonly made with a dry gin and dry vermouth, vermouth when done garnished with olive. Oh, uh, martini. <sighs> What does it mean to order a single or double whiskey? Uh, how much ice, how many whiskey brands, how many glasses? Yeah, how much whiskey to pour? Ooh. Sugar cane was once grown extensively in Hawaii. The sugar from these plants is even used to make a certain alcohol uh, that a Hawaiian royal enjoys so much he set it up his own still. What is the name of this alcohol? Oh, man. Um, sugar. Sugar cane alcohol. What? Rum? Is it rum? Oh god, I don't know. When mixing a cocktail, what should be added to the device shown here? Rocks. <laughs> Rocks! Coins! Beans! Sometimes a bartender may serve whiskey on the rocks by simply adding a large sphere of ice. Which of the following statements about ice spheres is false compared to regular ice cubes? Less likely to slide into your mouth? Uh, melts more slowly, easier to prepare, looks more attractive. Uh, it's easier to prepare is false. It is more difficult to prepare. I'm pretty confident about this one. I think, if anything, I missed one. No more than that. Oh, yeah. Haven't, haven't failed anything yet. Bishy the bartender. Those are some pretty basic questions, I have to say. Most of them. There we go! We, uh, are snazzy now. I believed in you, Bishy. Thank you. <laughs> Great job, Bishy. I lost. Yeah, let's see, uh, what amounts did we have? Will it tell me? Yeah, we had 7,700 on yes, I will pass, and 3,000 on no. Everyone who voted yes, you win. I swear, the, the one time I fail something, everyone's going to be so disappointed. They're really like, I believed in you! How could you do this? I got them all right. Oh my god. Why is alcohol the one exam I got everything right on? I don't even... I, I don't really drink that much, you know? I'm not... I don't drink that much. I just know stuff. <laughs> I mean, this one's easy. If you just look at the glass, it's the one with the olive. This one... It's a martini. That one's an easy one to know. I mean, if you know alcohol, you know. Um, a single or double is pretty common to know. It's just less or more of the alcohol. This one was a guess, and apparently it was rum. I mean, the other ones didn't make sense, because wine comes from grapes. I don't remember what whiskey comes from. I was kind of between rum and brandy, but I was like, brandy doesn't sound like it comes from sugar, but I know rum is more of like the, oh, I don't want to say, but like, I can believe it would come from sugar. Um, and then this one was super obvious. I mean, come on. 
And then this one is also just kind of logical too, so. Let's read it. There are many variants of the martini, each just as popular, such as the vodka martini, which substitutes gin with vodka, or the dirty martini, which incorporates a splash of olive juice. I don't think I've ever had a martini, actually. The amount of whiskey in a single differs by country. In Japan, it's 30 uh, milliliters, whereas in the UK, it can be 25 or 35. In the US, it can be around 30 or 45, depending on the establishment. I didn't know that. So drinks will be different in different places, even if it's the same thing, like whiskey. Aside from drinking, you can also cook with rum. It is often used in sweets such as rum, raisin, ice cream, which uses raisins soaked in rum. A shaker is mainly used for mixing short cocktails. Uh, it actually takes more... Oh, wait. Yeah. Uh, it takes more preparation to get ice into a spherical shape, of course. However, it's preferred because it's more aesthetically pleasing and has a smaller surface area compared to ice cubes, which make it makes it melt slower. It is also less likely to slide into your mouth when drinking. I don't know because why not, but I do believe in you, bitch. I appreciate it. No, honestly, like, uh, I, I like when people say no, at least a few, because if no one says no, then if you win, yes, you won't get anything. So, you know, we got to keep it all balanced. So it's totally fine. I won't hold it against you and remember it for the rest of my life. Don't worry. <laughs> okay, we are going to... Hello, happy, but that one's next to a sub story, so we're not gonna go there. Um, Hawaiian hot. That looks like a new thing. I don't want a new thing. I just want. Yeah, let's just go back to this one. We have something very important to do now. Yeah, okay, I'll vote against you, bitch. I mean, no, you don't all have to vote no, because then somebody's gotta vote yes. The non believers were sacrifices for the other team. Oh, you can only do the tours at that Allo happy, anyways. Okay. I guess the other ones, you just change your outfits and stuff. Got it. Let's go. I've been waiting for this the entire playthrough. Because, you know, again, I've seen some of the trailers. And I, I purposely stopped watching when it started showing too much of things. But what I do know is there is a job in this game. That honestly, I feel as a community of Yakuza enjoyers, we have all manifested. At least here in my community, because I remember like four years ago, we were all making jokes about it. And we uh, we even had saw fan art. I've seen other people draw it too. It's not just us, you know, it's uh, other fans of Yakuza like on Twitter and stuff. I have seen them make fan art of this particular idea before this ever came out. And I am just so, so excited <laughs> to finally see it happen for real. So without further ado, let's do this one. Let's I've been waiting for this the whole playthrough. I've been thinking about it the whole time. Oh! My god. Uh, Tommy! Oh my god! Like the old west, huh? Fastest hand in the east, partner! <laughs> Cowboy itchy butt! Cowboy itchy butt! You have no idea how happy I am. That they have goddamn cowboy Yakuza in my Yakuza. Yeehaw! You unlocked the Desperado job. And I love the name, too. Well, you know who I have to see as a Desperado like right now. This is what I've been waiting for. My whole life. <laughs> Woo! 
I love how it's a toy gun. <laughs> Very good. I'm gonna tell my grandkids this was uh, Arthur Morgan. Oh my god. Ooh. Ooh. Can't even see his eyes. Oh my god. I don't know which one's better. Probably just the all black one. Gotta go with that. And I love his color scheme for the Desperado. I love it. I love it. I'm gonna take my dragon to the old down road. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, like I was saying, literally, like I think Ruvo literally has drawn uh, Majima, I think, as a cowboy because we had this whole conversation years back about, oh, cowboy Majima, cowboy Kiryu. That'd be so good. It's real. Cowboy Kiryu, real. I want to see them all as the cowboys. Oh, that looks cute. It's like he has a pink shirt under it. The flannel is so good. That This actually might be the best one. I don't make them all desperado. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> gonna have a team of cowboys. And then he's got the purple. Looks good. It looks good. Now, I do wish we had a cowgirl for Chitose, but... Can't win them all. We got three cowboys and a maid. Let's get in the bath. Let's do take it. A break, take a break. <laughs> Fight me. Fight me. Motherfuckers! Oh my god! Look at like, like the the hands. Oh Who needs a horse when you got three cowboys? <laughs> Even that guy in the back is ready for cowboy kitty. Oh my god. It's so good! Now, I might keep Kiryu as a cowboy for the playthrough. We we might do that. More cursing. It's funny when you do it when I'm already cursing. Okay, hold on. We gotta see these moves, too. All right. All right, motherfuckers. Let's see. Let's see these goddamn cowboy moves. Uh, let's just guard. Woo! Goddamn! Goddamn! Get you! I can't, I, I need a curse, but I can't say the things I want to say. Woo! Oh, yeah! Oh my god. I just wanna fucking look at him. I just. Oh. No! Word man, five minutes, I can't say cowboy! Oh, come on! Oh, yee haw! How many yee haws you know? Oh, I forgot I could move him! Oh my god. I forgot I could move him around. Woo! Okay, I can't say. I can let me put the timer. Hold on. Man, time to bring out the the boy cows. <laughs> Cow boy. Uh, okay, wait. Five minutes. Okay, starting now. Starting now. Trying to enjoy this. Where is Tom? There he is. Why is he by himself? Just. I, I don't know. I don't know if I could have imagined this better myself. Like, the fact that he can have, like, the all-black outfit as this job. 
I don't think I could have done any better. RGG. I don't know. I don't know what happened. But something about Yakuza 8, I feel that they they really listen to us, you know? They've heard us. They 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 knew they knew what we wanted in our hearts. They understand us. Someone someone cooked here. You know, there's pots and pans and there's 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 a nice smell in the air. Somebody cooked here. And it was RGG. I don't it's funny because I don't I don't even have a specific thing for this. Like in general. But when it's Kiryu or Majima. Woo! They had like five interns read fanfiction and look at Twitter. <laughs> There's a nice smell in the air. Yeah, it's Kitty's cologne. Ooh. Ooh, okay, let's actually do something. Uh we got a wild lasso. Hog tie and damage an enemy with a chance to silence that fell or up. This is made for me. Oh, it's already it's already done, PC. It's only one minute. <laughs> now I I can't say a certain word. That's what we're on now. A sedative shot. Up a trank round into an enemy, which damages him. Uh, applies your weapon's attributes and may put him down for a nap. Stand still, stab. Never doubt the efficacy of a Bowie knife dripping with arsenic. Damages an enemy and may paralyze him too. Fight firing squad. When it's time to duel, come out guns blazing on a line of enemies applying your weapon's attributes. I gotta see that one. I gotta see this one first. <laughs> Anyways, I started blasting. <laughs> I just wanna I just wanna see Kitty do everything. Everybody else is gonna guard. Oh no. Oh no. Uh wild lasso. I feel like I'm at a rodeo. Oh my god. No, he's out of it! Okay, hold on. Hold on. No, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, we can see it with somebody else. For a second. Never mind, no. I'm conflicted. Now Kiryu has the cutscene gun. <laughs> we gotta do this. Woo! I haven't even seen that yet. Oh my god. There we go. Uh, so we've done this one and this one. Let's do the standstill stab. Oh. Ooh, stab, okay. <laughs> they look so cute in their little outfits. Oh, yes, I could use somebody else, but I? I keep forgetting I can help someone else. Okay, hold on. Yeah, let's just give him a nice coffee. Um, so how do I give it to someone else? Because I think... Uh, oh, I can say cowboy again. Thank God. I think when I just press on it here, it just uses it. I can't remember if I tried it, but it must be that. Okay, wait, let me see. Okay, here we go. Never mind, never mind. Sorry. There we go. <laughs> It'll like to pick some of the I'm a silly goose. I didn't want to waste my iced coffee. 
All right, sedative shot. <laughs> this job was made for me. Look at him! I didn't even let anybody else do any of the moves. <laughs> I made everybody cowboys, but really I just wanted to see Kiryu. Okay, let's see everybody else do some cowboy moves. How about that? What are you looking at? Let's How about Kiryu was for us? RGG knows the fans. They know! I can't wait for the Kiwami moves. I can't wait for that. Let's do... This one. Get him, Ichiban! <laughs> so good. <laughs> what other cowboy moves you got, Kitty? You do see do for us, sir! How's that song go? If you close the door and turn the lights down low. <laughs> Put some music on that soft and slow. <laughs> Maybe we ain't got no place to go. Oh my god. <laughs> A little hoedown. <laughs> We're gonna square dance with him. Okay. <laughs> It's so good. <laughs> Damn, Tommy! Can they rank up really quickly? Wait. <laughs> it looks like Kid you saying it. <laughs> this year I'm gonna wear a sexy swimsuit and land a husband. Maybe next year. My pony! Oh my god! Let's do one more fight with everybody as a cowboy. And then we'll go switch out the jobs. I think I'm gonna keep Kitty as a cowboy for a little bit though. Just for me. Oh my god, he just did like the little hat. Oh my god. I could just watch him for 30 minutes to see all the little different animations. See, see! Oh my god. There we go. Let me on, can you please? <laughs> There you go. I like can't handle it. Everyone has a toy gun besides Kitty. Wait, does he? Does he look like he has a real gun? Hold on. Let me swap things around first. We're gonna put you back on. Was it on a uh, Aquanaut? Was he on Aquanaut? I think so. Or was it Sujimancer? Well, since we're not doing like plot, let's put him back on Sujimancer so I can upgrade it a little bit more. 
Okay, yeah, you probably had a gun weapon and given to Kitty. That's what I thought. That's what I thought, too. Okay, so he's Sujiman's now. No, he's not. Oh, here we go. Job change. She's gonna say that. Kitty was gonna say that. Uh, Eric can be. We had him as Pyro Dancer. We did get it to level 11, so maybe we should swatch him out to. He hasn't been Action Star yet. Or he could be Aquanaut. Let's put him on Aquanaut, huh? Let's have Surfer Tomy. I feel like I always prefer this one. Oh! Nice hey, heist, welcome in. All right, so we've got a Sujumancer, a maid, cowboy, and a surfer. Okay, I want to see that weapon again. Let me look at the gear here. Yeah, he has a air gun. So it's still a toy gun, but it looks more real. That's really funny. He gets the good one. Oh wait, Eric doesn't have a gear on. Oh, because it was uh it was for the other job he had. Let's do Oh, perfect. I hate when I select a job but don't remember to equip weapons and then do one damage, yeah. I think uh it's it's pretty good at doing it automatically, I I've, I've been finding so far anyway. Let's save. <laughs> Have you seen any piece of media where someone rides a horse? That's what I want to see, me and Kitty Rina! <laughs> Uh, and yes, I have seen that movie, Shiny. <laughs> Aside from, like, all the memeing that goes on, I actually did enjoy it. It's a very sad movie, but even I meme on it. It's true. Well, these guys are weak. They're weaklings! I think I actually made an edit forever ago. Was it, like four years ago of uh, the movie poster, and it was Kiryu and Majima, and I uh, photoshopped them in. I think I even photoshopped them into, like, a screenshot from the movie, too. It's the one where, uh... Oh, what does he say? I can't give up on you, or I can't... Uh, something like that. It was like that quintessential moment. It's somewhere. It's funny, because it'll get likes every now and then, even though it's so old. I wish I could quit you. There we go. Yes, I made an end of that moment. Oh god. Okay, let's do. Yeah. Oh yeah, I guess you can see the weapon in the holster. That's not... And he's got like the real looking gun. I can't believe it. Perfect. Oh wow, if the enemy is blue, right before battle you can press L2 and your party will automatically KO them. Wow. I have to try that out. Let's try it out right now. L2 Smackdown, I tried. Do I have to hold it down? Oh, here we go. Wow. <laughs> Oh, that's so cool! I got 30 bucks! Amazing. Okay, what do I do now? Um, I don't remember if there's anything I wanted to do. A new chicken! Black Knight. I have birdseed. There we go. Oh, you get less experience. Okay. But then it goes by quicker. Well, we're definitely not doing plot today because it's late and we've unlocked so many things to do. Um, what else? What else? There are sub stories. We could go back to the island. I might be wanting to do the island again. As much as I want to see more cowboy video. Uh, of course, there's all these little chats. 
I feel like I've been to every restaurant on this side for all the table talks and still haven't found a kitty one. Um, we could go exploring around here to find one. So much to do. Stairs at Kiryu. <laughs> I think we'll probably go back to the island. There's also something over here. Oh no, Hawaiian Haunt is the uh, dungeon, isn't it? I was thinking about going back to the dungeon. I think that's what I was picking between. Was going back to the island or doing the dungeon stuff. We have enough time we could do some of the dungeon. Um, that might be good. We can get the cowboy job up a little bit more. Maybe we'll do that and we'll kind of spread out the island. I don't want to do it all, you know, at once. Time for another fall. No, 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 no. <laughs> I think I want to do dungeon. Uh, let's go here. But, okay, I gotta think about this. So I need more healing items. So I actually need to go to a store first. Uh, we should... What else? I just thought of something and forgot it immediately. I think that's the biggest thing. I just want to make sure we have items. Um, healthy smile? That might be good. Let me try that. What are you staring? And I gotta catch up with chat, too. I'm missing so many messages. Oh, what do you have? What do you have? Oh, I was gonna go to an ATM because I am afraid holding all this money in my pocket. Hello? Oh, I thought he was a shop. My bad. I thought he was selling things. My bad. Okay, what do you have? Aloha. I've got money to burn. The gush isn't that expensive stuff. Okay. I need, like, the little items. Like, 100 HP or less. That's what I'm looking for here. Uh, we've got a little bit of everything else, I think. We could buy some of these. Uh, be a little bit prepared. Sure. Hey. Thank you. I gotta go to somewhere else. Can't assume every guy with a cart is a shop. I know. I'm sorry. It just reminded me of the other guys that have uh, little shops. I'm sorry. <laughs> Where do I go? Okay, wait. What stop? This. I have an ATM. I need somewhere that's like uh, like a cafe. I can buy like a bunch of little coffees and stuff or something. A bunch of little healing items. Maybe ABC store? There's an ATM around the corner. We were just here too. I feel so silly. Is there anything in the mall? Sort of. I could try the mall, but this is right here. Well, I guess we'll just go back and forth. My bad. I wasn't thinking ahead. Anyway. We're cruising. Oh my god. Because there's a car. I feel like it's more fun when I don't do the auto cruise. Because then we can kind of like swerve around and it's just so much more fun. Um, oh wow, we're like level 20 now. I swear I'm going to be over leveled for a lot when I finally get back to it. Woo! Giving me Ryoma vibes there. I can't wait for another tie in the pole. I feel like every time we do a pole now, y'all are purposely going to try to do a tie. Uh oh. Poor Kiryu! Wait! He can't see! Just look at him. <laughs> I love watching Kiryu have the status effects. Hey, buddy, he didn't miss, did he? He didn't miss. Okay, he missed that time. 
Grandpa forgot his glasses again. I don't ever think about how this weapon looks like a USB. Hold on. Ruva was saying that uh, to me yesterday after stream. It literally just looks like a really fancy USB stick. <laughs> He keeps missing. That's okay, cowboy. Give you, I forgive you. Hit him with the 64 gigabyte. <laughs> they have terabyte USB sticks at this point. Are we there yet? In, in technological advances? Have we gotten that far? Almost, okay. I swear, I remember when like one terabyte was unheard of. Like, whoa, your computer has a terabyte of storage and now people have like several terabytes of storage. And it's pretty normal to get a hard drive that uh, has several, at least like two or three. But the USBs are not there yet. It's funny, I spend so much time on the Segway, like, looking backwards. I never really just enjoy the city as it is. Right. Yeah, now one terabyte is, like, barely any space the size of modern games. Or just, like, if you have a lot of pictures and videos and stuff. Yeah. Alright, let's see what you got. So, 100 HP, perfect. We can get a bunch of Musubi. Oh, yeah. Three pack croissant sandwich. Okay, that's a lot of HP. You can get some, though. Let's do. 260. A little bit of everything. Yeah, this one's perfect, so we're gonna get a lot of those. I wish I could hold more, honestly. Uh, these are nothing. 70 is pretty good. Are they cheaper here? I think the toughness light is more expensive at the other place. I swear it is. Let's get a few of these. We have some of those too, but let's get these. Max HP increases by 10. Oh, we need some of this stuff. Hold on. I don't have any dog food. And we'll get some more cat food and more bird food. There we go. Now we can feed all the animals. I still got 8,000. Oh, ATM next. ATM next. Put most of it away. There we go. Average big pharma scalping essential drug prices. You know what? Exactly. We gotta boycott that place. What is it called? Healthy Smile. Yeah, I'll give you something to smile about! Affordable medicine! For all! Oh, let's put it away. Uh, yeah, so we have only 1,200 in storage, so let's put away... Maybe seven, so I still have like a thousand on me at once. I mean, if I die in the dungeon... I don't want to lose a bunch of my money, so 179 I think is good. Let's do... Let's go back. I think I'm ready now, right? ATM, food... Yeah. Gotta catch up with chat. I've been meaning to for like 20 minutes. A lot of messages, I feel like. Okay, I don't think you lose any money for dying in the dungeon, just kicks you out. Okay, wonderful. Still, just in case I get in a fight before the dungeon. Who knows? We have not seen the pound mates yet, Alfred. That is a very good point. I really do want to do the dungeon, though. I think maybe next time we can get all of the money out and we'll load the save 
and we'll do the pound mates, like all the all the ones we haven't seen yet in a row, and then we'll just load the safe so I get all my money back. <laughs> I think we should do that, but I don't want to do it right now. I'd rather do that like towards the beginning of a stream. Yeah, you don't lose money in the dungeon, but you will waste the healing items that you used. Makes sense. Who needs to look at the city when we can look at kitties? <laughs> yeah, gotta take in those Honolulu city lights. Let me see where I left off in chat and I wanted to go back and read more. A whole lot of horses are gonna be saved tonight. Oh my god. <laughs> I found a cowboy. Yup. <laughs> you know what they say save a horse. <laughs> Oh, I saw my hat! I didn't even know! I forgot it was there. I miss so much of chat. I'm like going really far up. I'm like, oh my god, I didn't see any of this. <laughs> so sorry. I was so excited about Cowboy Kid you, I barely looked at chat. Oh yeah, I don't think Rivo ever finished that Cowboy Majima drawing. Now you have even more reason to do that. And I remember I wanted you to draw Cowboy Kid you after that. But now he's real. It took you so long to draw it that it just became real. <laughs> Oh, tell me was your cowboy. I think the cowboy outfit looks good on all of them, honestly. They're gonna tell my grandkids this was Arthur Morgan. Really took me out. That one was really good. Oh. I think I finally caught up for the most part. There was one thing I saw and I forgot to say it out loud. Hold on, let me see if I can find it. Everyone, oh, this is not it, but it's another thing. Everyone is a cowboy, but only Kiryu is a cow man. <laughs> oh, what else was there? There was one more thing. Uh, I saw an artist make Saloon Girl go to me, and I wish that was- Oh my god. That sounds beautiful. Eric's knees are staring at me. Okay. <laughs> I'm very sorry you feel that way. <laughs> okay. Turn that off. Let's go. We gotta help Robomichi. Gotta help him. What? Uh, I got a concrete block blueprint. Oh, I forgot! Oh, yes, yes, so now I can actually do these things. Oh my god, wait. Okay, we really gotta go in the dungeon now because we can get these! We can get a golden Kiryu and golden Majima statue for the island now that I've gotten to the island. I mean, come on, as soon as I saw this yesterday before I got to the island, I was like, oh, I need to go back to the plot so we can get to Don Doko. Stat. Stat. Golden Kitty, let's go next to squat toilet number four. Exactly. <laughs> you got the right idea. All right, we need a lot more points. So let's get in there. Let's save. And we have a higher level now. So let's give it a try. All right. Let's go. <laughs> we did so much this week. We got to the island. We got to this dungeon. We made squat toilets a thing. I think this is empty. Well, there's a door here. Okay, so there's a battle. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's a battle there. 
I guess we'll just do everything. Oh. Some stuff. Okay. Let's dead end. Another fight. Okay, let's just start fighting. What do you want? Get ready for this! We need the experience. Oh, this is the same fight that I struggled with last time. Wow. This is the same fight from yesterday. Well, we're a little stronger now. And we've got Cowboy Kitty on our side. How could we lose? Okay, let's do... Is anybody weak to this? Yes, let's do that. Almost got it. Oh, you know what I like about this job, too? All three of these are medium power. There's only one that's a light power. That's very nice. Speaking of which... Um... The silence. So, yeah. So, this job is mostly about status effects. And then this one is just pure damage. Let's... Do maybe the sedative on this guy. Take the net. Too weak to that. Oh yeah, they are weak to electricity. Let's get that guy out of here. And then what can we do? Let's do spicy breath. There we go, homestuck! <laughs> and I'm finally getting the timing down on that too. Almost got him. I love Cowboy Kitty so much. So much. Get rid of him. to anything I have? I don't think so. Let's try to get as many as possible. Oh, he's moving! He's moving! He's smart! They keep moving out of the way! And... Okay, never mind. I mean, this guy's weak to fire. Let's do that. I'm definitely doing better in this fight than yesterday. You're weak to that. Yeah. Hey, one more. He moved out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 you got it. Rink Suji snooze. Okay. Yes. If no one's got me, Cowboy Kitty has got me. Hmm? 
Consider this, Ruvo. Cowboy Kiryu cosplay. Huh? Huh? How about it? <laughs> and I could be Cowboy Majima to match. He, he's not canon, but... It was funny, though, when I imagined Majima in the cowboy job, I feel like he would just wear the same thing as Kiryu. But realistically, like, I wouldn't want to wear the same thing, you know? So I don't know. I don't know what we would do. Because when I imagine Majima as a cowboy outfit, or in a cowboy outfit, he's wearing that same thing, like the black cowboy yeah, hat and the black outfit. Out. We'll just have Snake print everything, and it'll be gaudy as hell, just as Majima intended. How's that? Should we do the fight, or should I just, like, ignore them? Oh, wait, there's another room... Hold on. I think there's another way around them. Majima wears a leather vest, but shirtless as per usual. Or poncho. Oh, that would be interesting. Okay, it's just the fight. I think I'm gonna ignore them. Let's move on to the next floor. Yamless chaps. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Let's do it. Go close, huh? Then we should auto heal as well. I hope, like, I don't have to fight everybody to rescue people. Imagine I would see the person and be able to help them. Okay, how do I auto heal? Oh, I can put those away. Let's see. Maybe, I think skills? Yeah. Okay. There we go. Perfect. Oh, in the first pause menu, you do square. Oh, auto recover. Okay. I thought there was a button for it. I didn't see it. Thank you. More items. Hmm? I like that they also put random assets in the dungeons, too. They gotta use them all! Okay, now here I see someone needs help. Here we go. They're in a bad way. Better help them out. Let's do it! Threatening men! How about these threatening men? On my side. They're all dancing! <laughs> they got choreography! This is a dance battle now! <laughs> All right, do any of y'all have weaknesses I can do? Uh, weak to fire. Yeah, I think he calls for backup, so we want to get rid of him pretty quickly. Pick the fire, so let's take him out. Ooh, kindness level up. For some reason. From gentle to empathetic. I think Ichiban is extremely empathetic. <laughs> we could do this one. Oh, oh, he's fine. Coconut chunk. Oh, 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 he's strong. He's strong, too. Oh, shoot. Okay. Yeah, let's keep focusing on him. 
シワを伸ばしまーす Let's go on to back up. Nobody responds. Nobody wants to party with you. Oh, Coconut Chop Attack is taken from、uh, someone in Y5. Been reused a lot.、Huh. I did not recognize it at all. No, we're gonna do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's got a lot of MP right now. Beautiful. The guy that Akiyama fights. The one that. Oh my god. They fight in the、uh, subway station? That one? Yes, okay. I'm seeing his face in my, in my mind. Okay, the big guy's gone. I need to heal after this. Just tell me. Alright. Getting money, too. Up.、Uh, clean sweep. New skill. Hey, are you okay? Not safe for you to be here. Thank you very much. Please take this. We helped someone! Just like Ichiban would have wanted. Now I'm hoping we run into another、uh, metal squirm worm. Rubber glove. A little bit for housekeepers.、Uh, let me see. Back up. Here? Yeah, increases job experience. Let's do it.、Um, this is items and money, so let's replace this one.、Oh, I actually already had one. My bad. I did not pay attention. I gotta check for those. Do we have anything for cowboys? Look at him, just ready to go. I don't think I have one for the cowboy. He's got one. Sujimon Master probably doesn't have one.、Yeah. And then. Tell me, has it. Okay. Me and him are our first name basis. <laughs> Understandable. <laughs> Funny sometimes, like a character will just be known by one of their names. Like, Kiryu. We all call him by his last name.、Um, to where when people call him, if people were to call him Kazuma, I'd be like, huh? <laughs> so informal. His name is Kiryu.、Uh, it's just weird to hear people say the other name, you know? Kazuma's soul friends, yeah. When that popped up, I was like, oh, because you know, those are his friends. They would probably call him Kazuma. Ooh, durian maracas. Maracas with a perilous scent. That's for the、uh, hula. What is it called? I don't even know. Can I see all the jobs here? Can I look at the jobs? Pretty? Jobs. Yeah. The Geo Dancer. I, know. I could not remember the name. Oh, okay. There's the boss.、Um, let's heal Tomi first. And we need more MP as well. Auto recover, and then、uh, MP is very low. So let's use some items. But that's what we're here for. Let's use our basic items here. There we go. I wish I got some more of the really basic ones, actually. 
I think that's pretty good though. Yeah, good. Yeah, for Ichiban, he's just Ichiban. Yeah, that's the thing. I I do prefer calling him Ichiban. Um, but often in the game they call him Casca. So sometimes I'll fi I'll find myself on stream saying Casca instead of Ichiban. But it's just because I'm so used to saying his name for the dialogue. I always forget Kazuma comes before Kiryu in his name. Yeah, Kiryu's not his first name. But, you know, I I'm always just like, oh, he's Kiryu Kazuma, you know. Yeah, the game always calls him Kasuka. To the boss. There's, like, just one other area, which is probably the exit. Let's fight the boss. Why not? Your face is gone. Whoa! Pandora's Boxer! Oh my god. Alright. Ooh, weak to ice. Perfect. I have a lot of that. Yeah. Beautiful. Freddy's a knockout punch, huh? Oh no! Okay, attack is raised. Attack and agility are up, okay. Thought he was getting ready for a big move. Is he weak to anything Kidu has? No, let's just do a normal attack. Miss! Oh dang. He shot and he missed! Oh, what's better? This one's medium. Let's do scrub down. <laughs> the good one is strong. We have Frosty Breath. So this is new. Suji Snooze. Goth GF tries to put enemies to sleep with a boring treatise on Sujumon rights. <laughs> oh my god. Almost done. Oh no. Ooh! No, he does have a knockout punch. Oh, Jesus. I think if I didn't block that, he might have died in one hit. Oh, no. Please knock him out. Okay. Ooh. I did it. $69! Alright. Yes. Um, Kitty's not too hurt, but I will heal a little bit. Let's do maybe just like a hundred, or is it something even less than that? Oh, here. I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. Where is it? I always forget. There it is. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> No moldy burger for Kiryu. Let's just give him Musubi. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. So that room must be the exit. I guess the door animation does add unnecessary time. You know what I wish is that the doors would stay open once you open them the first time. I feel like that would make sense. But instead, they close after you leave the room. <laughs> yeah, there's been some weird noises from the healing in these games. There is actually a particular sound that uh, Ryoma makes in Ishin. That the first time I heard it, I literally like fell out of my chair. <laughs> bit on purpose i was like oh my god and like just <laughs> it was uh it was a lot it was a lot um yeah healing sounds <laughs> we're moving and grooving making progress You know, I've considered making that sound that Ryoma makes a, uh, an alert. Thought about it. 
Maybe I'll make it a, something y'all can unlock when we do an event or something. It was a really good orange. It really was. Speaking of good oranges, me and Rubo actually bought some oranges recently. They're like those giant ones. Um, bodacious boarding. Oh, increases your aquanaut rank. Okay. Um, Rubo probably remembers what they are, but they're like a giant orange, and they are so delicious, and they're like easy to peel. I've had them before, but only one time before, and we actually found them at the store now. So we've been buying a crap ton of them and scarfing them down. They're so good. Oh my god, I found the exit already? Aw, oh, we can't leave yet. I gotta see what's in all the rooms and stuff. Then you have side to making the deepest growl he possibly can when eating <laughs> like an animal. Like a bear. Oh yeah, so those are the enemies. And then there's another path over here. What is here? Anything else? What are you looking oh shoot. Are you looking okay, so there's for? another group of enemies there. As are those enemies. I get those. Oh, here we go. Ooh. Here's poison and restores HP. A sumo citrus, which is the type of mandarin orange. There we go. They are so good. If you have not tried that and you like oranges, I highly recommend trying to find some. Like the best oranges I've ever had in my life. <gasps> what? Oh! Little kitty cats! Oh my god. Wait, where's the cute one? Oh. <laughs> Just relaxing. I don't know what Ichiban said when we walked in here. It went by so quickly. Oh. Oh, not that one. I did not mean to do that. Sorry. Go back. Go back. I was trying to do my music. Which cat will you choose to take home? <laughs> it's like Nintendo cats. I like how they look up at you too. This has got angry eyebrows! You see this? He's got angry eyebrows! This one would go viral on social media, that's for sure. <laughs> oh. They're all adorable. Back to hell. Okay, <laughs> let's go. Aw, I saw someone had a cat with one eye named Meow Jima. Aww. So cute. A perfect name. What are you looking at? Really pissing me off. Let's fight. Yeah. Okay, MP is a little low on Chitose. I did not notice that. So let's just do normal. Attacks. Maybe this can be an MP uh an MP bath where I get all my MP back. They're not that strong. Oh, there's so much garbage in the corner. Hold on. <laughs> oh no! Uh oh! He didn't get a cold. There's so much trash in here I could be using. There's, I think, like alcohol over there, like bottles I could use too. Ooh. Look at all of this stuff! There's so much stuff over here! Oh my god. <laughs> the items help a lot. Hey. Okay. 
And then there's the other enemies over here, and there's a little bit more to see behind them. Let's go. What are you looking at? What are you looking at? What are you looking at? Oh boy. Rogue Rikishi. I'm ready. <laughs> you may resist gun, but you cannot resist the common cold. The most spirit. Uh oh. Hey. Oh no! Okay, that's pretty That's what you get for hurting Chitose! Ooh. We've almost got all our MP back. Yes. What is behind door number one? Even more hallways and more enemies. Um, yeah. Do that. So auto recover. There we go. Wow. Now we need more MP again. We've got smoke stacker and drunk about. Got him. All right, we can move on to the next floor. Look at Tommy. He's like, whatever, Tommy. <laughs> whatever. Oh, you know, I I do have a question. So, pretty much all, if not. Most, if not all, of the Yakuza games take place during December, right? It's like a trope in Yakuza media. Is this game also in December and it's just like Hawaii is not... It doesn't really get cold. Is that what's going on here? Because it's honestly a little weird to play a Yakuza game and it's not like winter and everyone's cold outside. Like, it's Hawaii. I believe so. So I was thinking, like, is this the first Yakuza game that's not during December, or is it just because we're in Hawaii? It doesn't seem like it's December. Oh my god. This is gonna take a minute, isn't it? I wonder, um... Maybe we'll be able to get to the halfway point? I think you can save there, right? Okay. On the lookout first. Worm, worm. Oh, I found the exit! Already. Another one. Another jet surfboard. <gasps> squirm worm! Speaking of squirm worm! Oh my god. All right, we've got the silver worm. I gotta pull out all the stops for this one. Okay, I've gotten a second chance. Let's do it. Worm! Metal worm! Okay, agility lowered, attack lowered. Oh boy. Okay. What's my strongest thing I can do? Clean sweep, okay. 
Oh, I think that was new. I don't think I've seen that actually. I forgot. Paralyze. Mm, he probably is immune to most of this stuff, not everything. Magic worms, you say? Magic worms. They give me the power I need. Let's try this one. And he's strong. A medium. Can't scrub down on him, okay. This is agility. Further away, the mortal hit. Maybe this one. Damn, we're like barely getting him. What do we got? Light to heavy. What's wrong, you little worm? This one's heavy, but I can't do it. Then let's do... Spicy breath. New prediction. Will Vichy defeat Metal Worm? <laughs> okay, we're doing... I want to do the tag teams in a second here. I think Clean Soup is the good one. Shot him right in the worm, but... A special butt just for worms. You ready for me? Oh shoot, okay, he's got a cold. Oh no, give you sick. We'll have to nurse him back to health. Okay, tag team on the worm. Yeah, that did pretty good damage. Okay. Or kill you! <laughs> oh, he's cold. I'll warm you up, kitty. You <laughs> with a jacket. Of um, let's do that. Ooh. Okay, he's like halfway down, but he could run away. He could run away. Maybe I can try to put him to sleep? Would it work? Is it possible? Oh, oh, he's sleeping. Oh, it does work. Okay, wonderful. Now he can't leave. It's just like a Pokemon. Okay. Um, yeah. That woke him up, I guess? Man, okay. Oh, you got GF is super effective. Yeah, he was just everything. We are running out of MP as well. Poor Gideo. Um, yeah, let's do one of these. Are you scared? Huh? Oh, that did pretty good damage. Here we go. <laughs> We're all getting cold now. I'm ignoring these guys. So I can put him to sleep, but then he just wakes up when we hit him, so... Yeah, the thing with sleep is one hit and they almost always wake up. Okay. So it's not really worth it. I'd rather just attack him. Ooh. 
No, damn it. Okay. And I need to be stronger for this guy. I'm just not hitting him hard enough. He stayed a long time. He squirms away. Maybe I should have put him to sleep for that round. All right. Those are tough. I remember in 7 there was like a whole strategy I learned on how to get the what, Vagabonds. And you could just farm them for experience. Step on him! <laughs> Okay. Well, that was a big fight. Um, there's somebody I gotta help. Okay, let's do... Oh, heal. Alright. This guy's a bit tough, too. Gotta get her MP back after that squirm worm fight. Oh, he's weak to gun. Perfect. Uh, good night, PC man. Thanks for hanging out. We'll see you later. Oh god, I guarded and he still got knocked away. Oh, good night, y'all. Good night, Arkham too. Sweet dreams, everyone. Oh yes, we'll be uh, playing some more Apollo Justice tomorrow. Oh no, attack is up. Okay. Maybe he needs a Suji snooze. Oh, piece of man! Thanks so much for gifting us up to Fluffy Cat. Thank you. Get that star real quick. Fluffy Cat, you have all of our tier one emotes and access to our sound effect commands when they are on. And all of our other sub perks. Thank you, thank you, PC Man. Here is your star, Fluffy Cat. It looks like gibberish, but I promise it says Fluffy Cat. <laughs> I promise. Thank you, man. Thank you so much. I can tell I'm starting to run out of steam here. I'm probably going to try to get to the halfway point. I'm hoping I don't have to leave to, like, save and quit or anything. We'll see. So I'm going to try to get to the halfway point. I do love to see Kiryu uh, shoot people, that's for sure. <laughs> shoot enemies who are bad people. Ichiban's a little bit hurt right now, too. Yeah, I went I went for a long time yesterday, so I think I'm starting to feel the effects of that long stream. Which is why I don't do that, you know? I try to do uh, shorter streams most of the time. Oh god, Domi! Domi, no! Um, Tommy's next. Okay. Ooh, they're all weak to gun. Perfect. Get this guy. Get him, Tommy. Okay. I think they're gonna leave you alone. Tear apart. Oh! Oh no. Oh no. He tried to steal from Kiryu. I wish I could grab him like that. <laughs> oh my god. We got Zesty Breath. We got the uh, electric type Sujibon now. And Inker to the Blinker with Tommy. You okay? It's not safe for you to be here. 
Please take this. Okay. Okay. Let's try to get to the exit. Something happened here. Something terrible. Oh yeah, I already found the exit. Okay, then let's just go. Um. Yes. I don't remember where we are. In the dungeon. Let's see. We are almost to the halfway point. The flag is the halfway point, right? Oh, but there's a heal. So we can recover. Oh, we can save. Okay, we are at the halfway point. Perfect. That was perfect, perfect timing. All right. We are going to save here. Because it is the end of the stream. We got to the halfway point in the dungeon. I feel that we got a lot done today. Um, we made progress with the Dondoko Island. I finally unlocked the job I've been waiting for this whole playthrough. Uh, and we even got more into the dungeon stuff. So next time I play this, which should be next Tuesday, Wednesday, um, I'll be doing the rest of this first bit of the dungeon. Most likely a lot more Dondoko Island. Uh, aside from that, I don't know. Uh, maybe we'll do some plot next week, but we have a lot of stuff we can do aside from plot. So it might take a bit of a, a break from it for a little bit. There's a boss right there, though. I don't, I don't have the energy to take on the boss, but we'll do it next time for sure. We will definitely do that. We'll continue through the dungeon next time. Don't worry. Don't worry. We saw Cowboy Kiryu. This was a great stream. Exactly. The best stream ever. <laughs> but I'm feeling very tired, so I'm going to head out. Um, but I appreciate y'all being here very, very much. Thank you very much for spending your time here with me. I hope y'all had fun, too. Um, I will be back to streaming tomorrow. I'll be playing more Apollo Justice. We're in the middle of Case 3 uh, and having fun with that. So if you'd like to tune in for some Ace Attorney goodness, that'll be tomorrow at 8.30 p.m. Central Time. Uh, here is my social media. Let me see if there's somebody I could take y'all to. Uh, otherwise, I'll be back tomorrow at 8.30 with more Apollo Justice. Yeah, bye, partners! <laughs> I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye! Thank you.